Welcome to Curious Curios, guys. Happy to have you all here. Oh my God. Campaign three finally revealed. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, going to unmute. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? I know you'd like eat to talk to me all day, every day, but I think there's a couple other people you guys would like to say uh, howdy ho to, and that's what we're going to do. Howdy, howdy ho. Hello. Hello. What Hello. Do you don't, you, don't you fucking hoe me, you piece <laughs> of shit. The moment I said no, Brady, how... he was calling me a hoe. No, oh, yeah, right. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Why do yeah, you yeah, all yeah. assume it's about you? Uh, the moment I Why the, don't you assume you're a couple of streamers up in here. The moment I the moment I said ho out loud, I was like, that's it. I'm canceled. It's all <laughs> over. Someone's <laughs> gonna out someone's gonna out me, but not my mm -hmm. friends. Not my friends. Yeah. Looks at Bree, sad face, cries, I'm, tears down cheek. No, no mercy. No what mercy. Can I say? And make you a better person. Uh, yeah. So first of all, God, so many, I'm, so many people to shout out here, um, because everything you see here was commissioned and done for an artist specifically for IO, which just blows my mind and and warms my heart. Uh, of course, uh, Jordan Shin did the main IO theme that you guys were listening to you during pre-show. Uh, Jono Taylor did the Curious Curios title theme and is mm. a stellar musician and is very excited to write more music for IO and I'm just floored away. Um, the background art was done by a lovely artist named Quill who's been doing a bunch of background art for the IO verse. The logo art was done by Tom Bag who has done all the logo art so far. Um, besides the main Ioverse, that one was done by Sea Bear, and uh, and yeah, so it's it's very exciting to have these custom assets and everything that we're doing, you know, here. Just it just makes the yeah, it just makes the world just feel more unique. So I'm I'm super excited, and of course I'm super excited to be uh, DMing all of you fine folks. This is a this is gonna be a great campaign because of all all the three campaigns. This one feels more whimsical more exploration out into the the beautiful nature the beautiful world and, and a little more traditional when it comes to your fantasy adventures so um i'm super stoked to be dming this for you guys so uh let me pull out my notes because i have notes i have notes i'm sorry for what I forgive Why are you, you apologizing? I forgive you. Uh, whatever it is. I, what I, did I you do you. in advance? You just yeah. you just opened. That was the first thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do anything. What did you do? <laughs> Arix, I'm sorry. In in, in cursive. Arix. Um, oh, well, I forgive you. So let me. Bu, bu, bu. Oh, don't have that on loop. There we go. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the campaign. Uh, a little bit of hype for you guys. So, uh, Curious Curios, uh, for our general synopsis, uh, over the forest and hills of Atropa hovers the uh, Ishonia Isles, part of the collection of various floating isles and continents that float above Io's surface. The isles, untapped and unplundered by Ionian capitalism and expansionism, lies a humble little village named Lundy. The citizens of Lundy live a quiet and peaceful life, with today a celebration of modern engineering. An elderly Owlin has created a simple flying ship that will be able to sail the islands, allowing one's thirst for adventure and exploration to commence. So, it's a uh, lovely, we're going to be doing a lovely whimsical exploration campaign in the floating islands above the continent of Atropa. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. So, right off the bat, the first thing I want to say, uh, it's the same thing I said in every campaign. Uh, you guys are starting level one. It's a brand yes. new beginning for everyone. So, so you all are starting right at the beginning at, uh, at level one. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I want to take this opportunity to allow you guys to talk as much or as little or not at all. Uh, about your characters as you'd like at this moment. If you'd like to tell a little bit or tease a little bit 
to what you're playing with chat. And uh, you can't reveal too much and you can't reveal, reveal too little. So you just tell as much as you want. I've had players who just said if pass. If you reveal just enough though, I'm not going to be satisfied. I'm not, I'm just, I just, yeah, make me You either make have to overshare or undershare. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, I don't want to put anyone on the spot. So if you don't, if you'd like to wait until session one, then absolutely. Um, but uh, uh, Arix, would you like to talk a little bit about your character? Or would you like to keep it hidden away until next week? Not to derail this, but I feel like I'm in fucking like school all of a sudden. <laughs> like, all right, we're gonna go around the room. Everybody's gonna present their project <laughs> now again. See, that was I mean, my favorite time finish the project's I mean, not due yet, but if I anyone know, has a crap, they want to share. I feel like DMing. You just have to uh, uh, DMing plus anxiety is a lot of just like. Like now. I was looking at the Listen. list of names, sweating profusely. Like, yeah. oh fuck, I'm third. Hey, Brett, wasn't there homework before we all leave? By the way, didn't you set homework? I know, not Shut yet. Oh my god! Spoilers, spoilers, dude. <laughs> that was the eraser. End. That was the end of the session, dude. No. <laughs> All right. You know what, Benji? You start. Would you have anything you'd like to share? Points at Benji, the class yeah. clown. Sorry, Alex. By the way. <laughs> oh no. Um, I, uh, I was. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about I'm sorry, it. I was I saw just you, like say, signing up. How do I change my username <laughs> so I can? to the front of the class. Change your username in like what in Discord? In Discord, so I could be like at the last, um, but uh, it's okay. I'm just, I was just, no, 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 Alex, you know, Alex, no, no, Alex, Alex, you. You know, no, Alex, what you could also do is you uh, can stand I'll up dramatically go. and and say, pass, and then I'll just keep True. going. <laughs> <Yeah. True. laughs> I mean, that's what Bree's probably gonna do. Um, all right, I Arx. don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, tell Arx. them about the hag. Arx, would you like to talk about your character or would you like to pass? Sure. Um, I'm not, I, I won't pass, I'll just talk. Um, yes. hi everyone, I'm Arix. Hey, haha. You might have seen me on that <laughs> I love stupid Arix gasm that Brett made. Yeah, we wait, um, stupid. Anyway. Wait, hold on, stupid. Do you want me to? I can get rid of it. No, Are no, you... no, don't get rid of it. Actually, it's, my, it's hilarious. It's, wait, <laughs> it's my, it's my magnum opus. It's probably the last BTTV emote oh, I made. Arix. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's that's my face. That's, that's, um, anyway, that's um, my love for Eric's, yeah. <laughs> um, hi, uh, I'm gonna be playing a um half bird race, uh, or uh, I don't know, should you reveal the race? Uh, you could you could reveal it. I can talk about it. Whatever. Uh, you want to do. Why don't you uh talk about it? Yeah. Why so. don't I talk about it? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, so. Sure the the oh, DM. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh so um Arix and I have been working on a race together called the Toria, who are effectively this sort of like half avian slash half bird um like uh humanoids with uh and Arix feel free to chip it anytime if I'm doing anything wrong, but uh they have essentially oh, I mean, still, legs. It's still yeah, your own, so I want you yeah, to yeah. yeah. So um their legs and feet resemble that of a common avian. So it's kind of got that I don't I, I always say it's scales, but it's not scales. What do birds have that? Feathers. They have feathers. Well, I know they have feathers. No. So I'm just saying, like, for the feet. For the feet oh, itself. Ben, you're talons. smart. They have talons. I mean, no, no, not the nail. The, the like, skin. Uh, yeah. yeah, the skin. It starts with, is it carrot? Something. I, I don't know oh, what carapace? to call it. Is it carapace? They're actually, they actually are. No. Talons with, uh, and scales. skin. They are, they oh, are, it is? They are scales? scales. Okay. All right. They cool, are scales, awesome. yeah. I got that right for the first time. Okay, so yeah, so their their uh, legs and feet have talons and are kind of scaled. But the rest of the body is humanoid, except for uh, two small vestigial wings that is placed upon the Toria's body. Uh, and the subrace of Toria is where those wings are placed. So Arix is a Goma Toria that um, that Arix's character has wings that sprouts uh, from their head from her head right Arix? you're you're playing yeah. you know, a woman yeah so from her head um wings are sprout from her head um and the gomatoria specifically because of the wings that sprout from the head um they have more of a uh sort of like an it, it, almost an intellectual focus historically not saying your character is or isn't in that direction so they're inquisitive um if they do decide to pursue more intellectual studies they are able to do so um but they also have a they are able to conjure a floating spectral hand of force um that sort of mimics a mage hand a little bit that continues to grow in power as the individual levels up as well How'd I do, Eric? Is that is that a good 
good explanation for your for your race. Sorry, I was distracted by my daughter. She was yelling. Um, uh, no, it's yes, fine. It was great. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Just make sure I, uh, I I will make sure I get your race done correctly and done right. Is there anything that you'd like to follow up with your your character? Um. Okay. So yeah, that's that's uh, her race. Uh, her name is uh, Koliapi, but uh, for short, her name is Kopi Yum. Her last name is Yum. Kopi oh, Yum. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I get it. I get it. <laughs> she marked in the get back. It. She marked the anyone that didn't get it in, she... in the offline thing. <laughs> I get it. I, I get, get it now. <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, she's, approves, very, she's a very optimistic uh, gal. She's really charismatic and she tends to be too optimistic sometimes, even in danger. Uh, <laughs> um, and she is a gambling addict as well. And also, uh, she is a barbarian path of the ancestral. Hell yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Uh, uh ancestral guardian yeah. path. The ancestral, guardian. ancestral. Yeah. That's yeah. her class. Yes. Gamba. Exactly. Gamba. And well, that's all I guess I want to reveal. I don't okay. want to go too in detail. That was perfect. Thank you, Eric's. Uh, Bree. Hi. Your, your turn. What would you like to um, talk about your character? The only thing that I would like to say, because I've been teasing this in, with my community for weeks and weeks and weeks now. What? You guys have been the revealing thing, your characters before well, today. The only thing I have divulged is yeah. the following words. Oh, no. Sleepy. Okay. Forgetful. Okay. <laughs> Um, and I'm playing another cleric again, guys. I couldn't help myself, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing a peace domain cleric. So, I but I'm, I won't say anything else. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Now, G Mart. Oh fuck! Bring it home. Knock uh, it out of the park. Home? That makes it sound like I'm like the last one to go. No, no, I'm, I'm putting all the pressure on you. Bring buddy. it on home. <laughs> Bring uh, it on home. Hi, <laughs> uh, I am going to be playing uh, a Herengan which is like a rabbit race which i only mm -hmm. learned about as of like two weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> i was looking through the D, D races and i was like oh shit so i'm gonna be playing that uh i'm going to be playing a monk uh way of mercy or whatever the fuck it's called the hand of mercy mm -hmm. um and my character is a x like fucking what's the word like pit fighter mm -hmm. And then also has some ties with like the criminal underground where he was an uh, interrogator. Okay. So it's like a two in one combo. And now uh, is on the run from deaths after a mishap in a mm. fight he was supposed to throw. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, Benji, would you like to talk a little bit about your character? Yeah. I Sorry if my voice is a little bit fucked because I just had a like coughing fit. Out of no, nowhere. do you want um, me to pass for now for you? No. Okay. Sorry, just getting it all up. Sorry, I had to keep okay. muting okay. that. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to say anything about my characters too specifically. Maybe mm -hmm. just the class. He's an artificer. Okay. But I will say, um, during the creation of this character, I didn't see it. I didn't see it coming. And then after I'd made the character and after Bree, who did the art for my character, uh, was done, it was only then, once I was like locked in, that I realized it's literally Benjism, my Minecraft character from bum, back in the bum, day. Bum, 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 it's, it's you, like you literally made your rail bro as a DJ. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, I did. Nods. I don't know anything about Real Bros and designing Same. it. I just somehow knew it needed to look like Same. that. It happened. It, I it was full it circle, baby. I mean, like, Benji's like a railroad. character is just Benji if he was into trains. Like it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> That's not the I'm not That's probably why you <laughs> laughed on it. Crazy. I can appreciate a local. Yeah. <laughs> so that yep. is that is uh, correct. Uh, chat in every campaign we have one artificer which is i think that amazing. was bound to happen cool. i think yeah. everyone in those groups has played enough D D that they're like what the fuck something is an new. artificer something new. like what yeah. is yeah. new and it Check also it fits the world theme I love that very that. much fits the world theme something new exactly i'm not i mean chat was 
pining for someone to play an artificer so is, this is, has anyone played it in other campaigns up till now uh, yeah Blake yes. played po, right uh that was in the uh, yeah so that was in an, uh, the offline campaign so we doesn't had, count uh, yeah that don't count. <laughs> okay and then uh <laughs> sure sure for played an artificer and i think that's it i think that was the only only one that's that's been played gotcha well damn but now we have one in each there's yeah. three yeah that's awesome. Maybe I'll change. Be this I don't know. Free, can Maybe you draw another change. character? Yeah, I, I'm gonna, no, I'll just draw another change. character. Give me four hours. <laughs> Make him a human. Yeah. No, but yeah, that's that's it. I, it's just my old Minecraft character from back in the day. That's all, all right. I'm gonna say. All right. Uh, Sam. Sam, what would you like to uh, reveal about your character? Oh, uh, I am playing um, my smallest character ever. Hell yeah. Um. I am going to be playing your new homebrewed race, uh, the Racklings. I'm playing a Tanuki Rackling mm -hmm. Hell who, yeah. um, who wakes up from petrification. And um, not to go into too many details about the story, but he, he aspires to be an Oath of Ancients paladin. Yes. So very, very nature, nature centric. Love it. Um, you know, like bark, bark armor and a stick, all that good stuff. Love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, still, still kind of like trying to figure out a name. I like had chat gave me some suggestions earlier. Um, yeah. Bark. Yeah, Bark. I will point out that uh, yeah. Gmart was no. gonna be a Gmart was gonna be a human until he felt overwhelming pressure that the rest of the group was not human and uh, was, was all furry. <laughs> so and... here's here's how I was playing it. So I was oh, looking at man. all the custom races, and one of Brett's human custom races just had like pretty much everything I fucking wanted All from the a kid. It was shit. like move speed and like some kind of weird like free disengage and like yeah. the perfect stat allocation and stuff. And I was like, All right, I'll just do this. It's perfect. But then yeah. I saw Harrington and I remembered I loved fucking Redwall as a kid where <laughs> I don't Wall, remember the name of the yes. rabbit, but they had the rabbit in it and I liked them. Well, yes. we could, we could, uh, we could talk Gmart cause uh, I can, I'd be happy to make some custom rabbit folk races maybe one that models awesome because some of harrigan's re redundant for monk uh, <laughs> sounds good yeah i because i am <laughs> addicted right. i'm addicted to making uh races now i am currently uh page uh 19 uh of Ooh, custom Basil races Stag, that was his name <laughs> yeah 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 so uh yeah we'll we'll, we'll talk we'll, t we'll talk we'll talk we'll think we'll figure something out more at this point mm -hmm. uh all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Laura, S sorry, not, <laughs> not not to get rid of the illusion. Laura got stuck in traffic, so. <laughs> Laura, Laura, do you want to wait a couple of minutes uh, since you said you're 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 close to being home? We can stall. We can stall. This we can is stall. in character, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm expert. Uh, yeah, I think the I think that's a yes. I think we will be stalling there at that. Point Might not have good enough service too. Discord's yeah. kind of crappy when you're on the road. Yeah, Stalling's probably best based on her last message, so. Yeah, uh, let me go ahead and uh, I'm just, I'm going to share. Hold on one second. I am, I'm, I'm stalling right now. Can you, can you tell? It's me stalling. Here we go. Yo, I got a question about the <laughs> campaign. <laughs> yes. I, you said we're not doing like a, an in meeting bullshit scene. Right. So do all our characters already know each other? Well, we can, we can talk about that. Um about how you guys would like to if you guys already know each other or if you meet each other for the first time or if your characters already have pre-existing connections mm -hmm. we can do that because it's, it's like session one which i can actually tell you guys right now is like it's a celebration i mean it's essentially like it, it, this this engineer has just created this cool modern feat of engineering and is Love about it. to take it off on a Take it off on a, take it off on a, <laughs> on a baited voyage. Love and it. Stroke it more. <laughs> so yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so there, there probably will be a celebration, almost like a fair. I kind of like Chrono Trigger Millennial Fair kind of vibes where everyone's just eating food and celebrating. So it kind of is like in meeting an inn, meeting a tavern, but in this, in, it's everyone's going to be at a, at a festival together. So uh, hell yeah. So yeah. But uh, more importantly, Brett, um, yeah, are yes. you going to give Sam special treatment because he's playing a raccoon race? No, no, yeah, no. no. I fucking damn well deserve some for being no. a raccoon. Uh, he's I'm a saying. pioneer. Fan of favorite. Let's go. Okay, so yeah. no, I say no. I put my foot down and I say no because. Bro, all right, I'll tell you right now. 
Yeah. Every parent says they don't have a favorite child, but they do have a favorite child based on the situation and circumstance. Is your favorite God, child yeah. Clark? Stay, huh? You don't have a favorite, but I know what's going on. <laughs> Listen, Sam, favorite. I can't. It's really be favorite Sam's... when you're the only one. Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for all I know, Sam, you might wake up and be like, I, I just shit myself. I'm covered in shit all the time because of nature. And I'm like, oh, man, What's I don't know happening? about that. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm saying, dude. Yeah, right, I, I got a question. Did anyone pick the triple race? Uh, no, no one's picked the triple race. I was, it was a toss up. I was going to be a triple, but then I thought a rackling would be more. Also, also, also to be yeah. fair, also to be like fair, I, I, I haven't finished mm -hmm. the triple yet. All I have is art for it. And that's as far as I've gotten because I, I got really turned off by the fact that they're only five to six foot tall. What I mean, I never, I, oh, like the the basic ones are, yeah. But then they basically uh, just shrubberies. Uh, yeah. You could have been yeah. special. No, I got turned off by that. I want. I, I would have been a triple if I could have been the size of a tree. But well, you what know, you should have been was an awoken tree. That's what, what about bonsai for. though? What you're looking for is to be awoken. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, but so I see some people are interested in showing their art that they've been working on so far. If you guys, no, would... not publicly, clearly, not publicly. I'm yeah, just not showing. Public. No, yeah. I know. I, I know. <laughs> you can show my. You I don't can know show if you were talking about you me. Want to. Oh mind. no, no, I was. I wasn't. I wasn't. I I uh, I took the hint when you said you in italics. <laughs> I tried to be. Really I can show mine if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll I'll absolutely show yours. Um, <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, well, I'm Hello. not sh now. I'm not showing anyone's. Well, I'll, well, how about this? How about this? I'll, well, I'll show it at the uh, end of the session. Does that sound good? I'll, for those that want to show off their character, we'll show, we'll show it off I mean, the end. Whatever of the you want, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Here to give, here to give you content. The, use the image that I last sent you, then. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll use it. I'll use it. Do you want me to show it today, Eric? Sam, should sure. I link the artwork I sent you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. No, I can't. Yes. I'm gonna, if you don't I post it in the group chat, I, I will post name. it in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Laura, welcome back. So happy to have you here. Uh, would you like to talk about your character at all and reveal anything to the, sure. to the, to the chat? <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, I'm still back and forth about how much to say because I realized a lot of this would be interesting to reveal later. So you can keep it I... all hidden away if you want. You're free to whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I would... say. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I would love it if you're just like, all right, I'm finally here. I'm not gonna share anything. Yeah, all I've right. got a pass. <laughs> pass. <laughs> Maybe, no, that's actually a good idea, but I gotta say something. So I'm gonna say something that's like, uh, kind of a weird teaser. I'll say okay. Okay. that my character is like a mix between Betty White's character in Golden Girls, Rose, and Nova from StarCraft. And you see from <laughs> Final Fantasy lot. Seven. That's a lot. Like, I just, if I'm, no. I just tried to like link them up, and I drew a witch's yeah. pentagram and cursed myself. Yeah. So that's <laughs> <laughs> and the gates of hell opened up, and I got swallowed up. I'm okay. dying. <laughs> wow, I just and, lost. And she has wings. <laughs> okay. Nice. Who uh, died in this campaign? Uh, fan All artists. The candles in my room just blew out. Yeah. I don't know. What fan <laughs> artists, can I get a Betty White and Nova from Starcraft? That's uh, gonna be very interesting. Bless, and and bless Yuffie up. from Final Fantasy. 7. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Yeah! Don't forget yeah. that one. Yeah, that too. Yeah. What do you What do you think that is? Fan artist. A little bit of claptrap from Borderlands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, fan artist, let me know what you come up with. Uh, that is your assignment for today's stream. Okay. That's. I'm glad we waited for Laura. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, I that's where the curious comes from. No, that, like, that was good. I can't good. believe the, this, like, you know, we have so many birds in our campaign and, like, animals. I think animals it's right down the middle, right? Half bird, half not bird? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> No. And like a hummingbird literally flew into the window this I... morning and I spent all morning feeding it sugar water in the hopes that it would be able to fly off. But oh. it just kept turning in circles on the ground like a helicopter because oh. one of its wings was broken or mm -hmm. dislocated or something. And I've, I've taken care of birds before, but never like that. 
tiny of wings. So tracking down a place to take it to and then driving there and getting stuck in traffic and like trying to keep it calm. And so <laughs> we're just like completely rushing back and like, yeah. Oh, it's um, all good. Anyways. But, the, but, ha <laughs> but, but ha no, it's fine. Happy ending though, right? Happy ending for the bird. Yeah, they did accept it and they're going to email me. Yay. Uh, Status, so. so far so good all right so now that we've done our character introduction sorry i was late as well brett uh i was eating food what me too <laughs> bad man. Yeah. uh that, that's okay that's uh no one was late you all guys... of us have reasons is what yeah. i'm gonna say all of us have equally yeah. valid reasons i had yeah, like, like 10 hummingbirds hit my window i just closed the window though <laughs> Yeah, a couple of in They're my, in my a bunch food. Of what is outside. going on today? Yeah, Seamart <laughs> sighed loudly and rolled his eyes every time. Close the curtains. <laughs> Man, some days, right? All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys all a link to Foundry, which is the VTT. Oh, team. right. I'm excited for this. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Have you never played with it? We did our Final Fantasy uh, mm -hmm. session in it, and it was really fun. It's hot. Awesome. It's yeah. it's oh. hot. It, it's hot. It's hot. It's really. <laughs> yeah. I'm just is picturing every day you say it. Will Smith. That's hot. That's, that's hot. hot. That's it's hot. hot. That's I mean, hot. Yeah, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. Hey, that's hot. That's hot. It's uh, it's very good. Uh, also, chat. Uh, you may see variations of uh the D and D overlays because I'm trying to figure out something that that freaking works. I'm in. I'm in. I'm experimenting with overlays. So pardon our dust while I try and figure out the right one. Uh, but uh, well, let's uh, let's take you guys over to the screen. And yeah, I got Discord reactions working. Yay! Light up, yeah. Yeah. Light, up. Oh, light up, light up. So I, I finally got it. I finally got oh, it working. Wait. Oh wow. Oh, cool. Woo! That's awesome. Woo! Baby. Yeehaw. Hmm? Yeehaw. Um. Obviously, this will all be changed. I like the raccoon. Thank First you. and foremost. Thank you very much. Mariah. That's awesome. Mariah uh oh, made Sorry, Brad, gonna log in me. again. No, it's why is mine just my logo? Did I forget to send in a meme? No, it's uh <clears throat> I just used all of your Twitch. Twitch icons. Oh, Twitch ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured there would be no objection for what you got what your branding is if I just use that. <laughs> well Yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> is this yes. where Benji isn't a potato anymore? He's fucking over it. Listen, listen. I don't even know. I I I can't find my email for Foundry. So can I make a oh, new he's account? Just days yeah, days. yeah. Just make a make a new one. It's all good. Okay. I because we're we're doing reveals. This is how I'm. But I yeah I'm, I'm liking this. Doing a big huge map. Also nice little background depending on what the campaign is. I uh, think it looks sleek. Thank you very much, G Mart. The uh, the the first episode, I uh, I of uh, Dead Beats. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this layout. <laughs> Shuffle it. <laughs> Shuffle it. Well, I couldn't get the Discord uh, reactions to work, and everything was broken, and, and it was just like, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I uh, I've been working on it. And I'm Wait, also... so eventually we'll have a little image that moves when we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm 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 definitely gonna get Discord reactions of everyone. Sweet. Uh, I'm. I also want to experiment with like a little, like like a little word bubble that goes next to you guys. So whenever you're talking, like your mouth will open up and a little word, little Amy word oh. bubble will talk. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. Question. Um, yes. Yes. Is, uh, this Forge site that you sent us is this how we're going to be playing it through this uh, yes. browser? Yes. Okay. Cool. And then uh, you. click launch game once you uh, do that. I also, uh, the coolest thing about Foundry from a moderation standpoint is there's so many cool freaking modules that I can attach onto Foundry. I've got a minimal UI that's now working, so it's not going to be obtrusive to uh, to all the viewers at home. And uh, and yeah, so there we go. Can you stamp to? Can you stamp the zoom to remove chat? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you zoom the chat to remove the timestamp? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, make sure you guys have Chrome acceleration turned on, or you have a. Bad oh time. yes, this is a uh, uh, very yeah. very intensive uh, virtual tabletop. Like there's actually yeah. like graphic settings yeah. and shit like. I don't acceleration you on. Could have animated. Yeah, so you want to okay. go to settings in Chrome it. and then advanced system and then click uh, use hardware acceleration. When yes. Available. Yes. Okay. Indeed. I'm kind of a gamer. My Chrome uses uh, 
a lot. <laughs> yeah. All of my RAM. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same. Same. Nodders. Um, yeah. Wait, what like... was the uh, hardware acceleration again? Uh, you advanced. Click the three dots in the top right, yep. and then it goes settings, advanced, system, and then there should, it should say use hardware acceleration when available. Use turn cool, on. Cool, cool. Thank you. And then you need to reboot your browser. Yep. And then it will be nice. It'll be very nice. Oh my god, it's so much better. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Automatically on. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you yeah, probably yeah, want yeah. to turn off when you're done. Otherwise, it's just going to like... Like a stream. When really? you have Twitch open. No, oh, I, yeah, just, I leave it all, all, I leave it all the time because I'm a gamer. Yeah, gamer. Yeah, I'm a bit of a gamer. I I'm a bit of a Chrome gamer. Open. I have like multiple tabs. <laughs> I'm a bit of a it gamer. can lag you if your monitors have different refresh rates and stuff. No, no, that's all good. I leave my computer on for weeks at a time and actually so do I. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. fine then. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. And anytime <laughs> something's horrifically broken, I go, huh, maybe I should maybe I should restart. Maybe I should update Chrome and Discord and everything like that. Huh, okay. Nah. Uh let me see. Make sure everyone is online. Uh I have currently whoop. One, two, okay. Wait, one, two, three, four. I'm missing someone. Who am I missing? What? Get him! What am I missing? I'm missing Benji. You're missing me, maybe. I'm online. Wait, hi. Hi, hello. I'm. Oh. I miss. I'm missing you. I miss you too, I'm man. It's been ages. Whole extends extends arm. Um, no, everyone else is on except uh, Benji. That's a long arm. Yeah, it's very long. Wait, I'm. I'm. I consider myself logged on right now. <laughs> Are you in the game? Though? Have you launched the game? I didn't press access game. Yeah, I that's should a, be logging in right now. That's a that's a common that's a common mistake. Also, oh, in I guess I'm in. You're in. Yeah, you're already in. Black screen, so you're good as long as you. Uh... Oh, I thought we were supposed to see something. <laughs> no, no, you see nothing. You see darkness. You're in the void currently. Oh, whoa! I've oh, got. We had a sound. Whoa, yeah. that's good. The what? dice are in the building. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh yes, the dice. Yeah, there are. I have it disabled. Uh, but yes, you. There are. Uh, dice sounds. Okay, I'm just making sure that is okay. That is mute on that end. Of that's there. All right. Oh, <laughs> you've seen nothing yet. We're about to get <laughs> super fancy, like really, really freaking fancy. So, <clears throat> allow me to take you over to the Ashonia Isles. That you will be playing this campaign. Welcome to the floating isles, the floating Ashonia Isles. Y'all should see a map at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, wow. feel, yes. Feel oh, free. Damn. Feel free to zoom in, scroll around with your oh. right click. I'll let you guys know. Uh, Lundy is the starting village that you're going to be in. Uh, but Lundy. you, but you'll have the ability to explore. All of these aisles. Oh, so we taking that. We're taking that stone. <laughs> the, the Isle of the Stone. Yeah, we're taking it. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's I don't little, even know. I don't even know what it is. It's a hill. The it's, so, it's it, the stone. <laughs> it's literally a hill top. The just, stone, more like my stone now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 Brett. Yes. These are flying islands, right? Yes. Correct. Now the How chief's hut that? in Lundy. There is yes. a dock leading off it. Is the gap water or is that just air? That's cloud. That's all air. That's cloud. It's a so he's got, board, not a he's got like a, a dock leading, a pier leading off just into air. Yes, yeah. that is correct. That's awesome. Uh, yes. Is there, if you zoom in enough, is it going to show the, oh, never mind. Did you think it would like keep zooming? I thought it was maybe like Google it Maps. It changes now. Like Google Maps? It's, what the it's, fuck? It's, no, it's Warhammer. <laughs> if you <laughs> come down to street level, you can see yeah. that I've paid someone to draw every yeah, building yeah, from yeah. the yeah. side and the front. <laughs> that's, <laughs> the, that's the first time someone, I, I, I've been so excited uh, to be like, look what this can do. And Ark's just like, yeah, but does it do Google Map? Like, is there a satellite? Can I stream you? <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't mean it that way. No, it's all good. It's all good. Run around with a really 3D awesome. camera. No, it's all um, good. I'm just I especially around. love the clouds uh, flying by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that that's where. Sometimes you're... when uh when Clark sees me play games and she's like on my lap, she'll try and touch the monitor like it's an iPad. Mm -hmm. and I, that's how Al I think that's how Alex feels in this moment. Like the technology oh. isn't sufficient. He got yeah. caught touching the iPad. Yeah, uh, that is the screen. But uh, yeah. So that is this is this is where you, this is where this takes place. Uh, let me actually pull up. This my is oh my god! There's a hot cool. spring. 
This, it, looks, this, it looks amazing. It looks really amazing. Uh, Alex, yes. we can go anywhere. The you gentle can... clouds and the music. Yeah. Um, you the... motherfucker. So, uh, I want to go to the hot spring. How cool. So, I want to go to the hot spring. So the uh, music, the theme that you're listening to right now, also composed by Jordan Shin. For those that don't know, Jordan Shin composed the soundtrack for Monster Train. He is a talented composer. What has, the heck? And has been putting in a lot of love into the IO project and very thankful for him and He's been, yeah, he's been getting me, he's been helping me out, setting me up with like, you know, how we can get this music over to Spotify, make sure that all the, all, all he, this man's a, a musical genius when it comes from a technical level to a co composition level. It's just really good. So I appreciate that. And of course mm. the regional map, uh, as every regional map has been done, has been done by uh, Levo Doom, who has added such detail to these maps. I mean, these, I just, I'm so thankful because I'll, I'll be like, these are all the areas that I need, right? And then he'll go on and be like, here are more areas. And I'll be like, you son mm. of a bitch. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Hell yeah, I love it, dude. Yeah, so the uh, the general idea, um, yeah, you're free to explore wherever. Uh, pulling up my notes. So, Veil <clears> of <throat> Howls. Where's the Veil of Rapids? <laughs> How do you on. place your, your course cursor somewhere? Oh, so you if you, with your mouse cursor, if you hold down on a spot, yep, there it is. So I see, I see Laura. Okay. I I'm see at the, I'm at the hot spring. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Already making notes for hot springs. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, why did, why did my, I disappear? What the fuck? I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be some time, dude. It's not going to stay forever. Oh, it's just like a golden thing. Yeah. Not a yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's a wow, ping. Just you, like... It doesn't even stay in the spot. What is this, Brett? Oh, I'm sorry. I've really, uh, I disappointed her. Man. I just... If there's ever hot springs in games, I always park my character there and like just pretend I'm there. Like the Gorons Same. in Zelda. Or Same. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Same. Um, so, uh, you guys, uh, are gonna be starting in the village of Lundy, as I've said before, uh, which is ruled under the arc of Atropa. So, Atropa is the main continent that you guys are on. Um, you can actually see through the skies, like, through the clouds a little bit, there is some landmass underneath that you guys are gonna be floating over. Um, Atropa is one of the arcs of Io, uh, one of the continents of Io. Uh, Tropa is kind of more of a heavier, like, nature-y, it's, it's, it's the less colonized of all of the, uh, arcs of Io. Um, the marshal of these lands, Tolkum, her, uh, Harthide, uh, keeps order and balance to what is already an uneventful village. It is occasionally visited by the magistrates of Tropa, but not very often. Uh, the Ashonia Isles gets its name by hovering over the, the Eshi and the Freonia, uh, regions of Atropa. So you guys are like hovering over two regions currently. If you guys go underneath mm. that, um, it's just very mountainous, very forested. There, You guys are essentially out in technically the middle of nowhere. So there really is no big, huge like civilization, big, huge like technology striving, things like that. I mean, not else. Um, when it comes to your, the islands over here, uh, not much else is known but the surrounding areas except for little excerpts from those that have explored the region before, which has been few and far in between. Alundi is a quiet village, practically hidden away from the rest of society, and the desire to explore and expand isn't prevalent. Until now, Wiggles eyebrows. <laughs> the uh, only source of technology is a small shard spire um, placed by the Atropin Ark, aligned for general conveniences like light sources and heat through uh, shard technology. So houses can have heating, it has general power, uh, general, almost like an equivalent of electricity. So you have lights, uh, you're able to cook things, you're able to keep your houses heated, etc., etc. Uh, some shard tech is even used uh, by the flying chip uh, that was created by the elderly engineer that I've spoken of before. So, uh, again, your campaign will begin midday in the village of Lundy. Everyone is gathered to celebrate the maiden flight of a uh, engineered designed uh, flying machine hoping to make a loop around the Vale of Isle. Uh, Va sorry, the Vale of Owls. I must have the Vale of Isles, which is, that's epic. Mm. The Vale of Owls to test its capabilities. All right. So, um, I've got more surprises for you. Yes, please. More, more things for you. And this is also for chat. Are we gonna reveal the, the, the thing? The thing? I'm gonna reveal the thing. 
Wiggle's eyebrows. So this is this is also new to chat because this is something I have not revealed to any of the campaigns, but this will be a system that I will be rolling out to the other campaigns as well. So, um, after consider heavy consideration, uh, we are not going to be using a currency system uh, in this game. So, uh, what? So you will not be you will not be tracking like gold and gemstones and shit like that. Um, instead, I know. Now brace yourself. So instead, <clears throat> uh, you will each have a wealth level. Um, so back back in the day, um, 3E introduced a system called 3E Modern, which was a really, <coughs> excuse me, a really cool system to keep track of wealth in the sense that you don't have to worry about how much gold do I have in my pocket? How many gemstones do I have? What, what's my blah, blah, blah. Instead, uh, you all have a, uh, a wealth level. Um, each level of wealth represents the amount of, m of money or the amount of spending power that you have. Um, what this allows you to do is um, acquire items that are below your wealth level um, without spending any kind of uh, spending any kind of currency. Your wealth level kind of shows j instead of just like a, a clumsy so, like cur currency I number. Got question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm happy to oh. answer all the questions. Let me let no, me just. Good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go Alex okay. Yeah. Go sorry. on. I, I. I. If you. I wanted to explain the rest. Oh, like, yeah. Oh. Go. Go ahead. Sorry. My bad. I thought yeah. you were done. <laughs> no. 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 So. Um. Shit. I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah. Go and ask. Ask your uh, question. I'll be happy <laughs> to answer it. No. It's all good. That's my ADD so, like, mind. I'm like. Oh no. So yes. if my character is like. Oh, I want to buy this penthouse. You'll be like, no, you're not rich enough, and then I yeah. can't buy it. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing as if it's like, I want to buy this penthouse for 250,000 gold pieces. And I go, you don't have 250,000 gold pieces. Essentially. So it's just how, always how like how much I would have. Someone for a th between players. So items are still going to have value. Um, it's just with your wealth value, with your wealth level, it signifies the currency that you currently have along with other connections. For example, you might have a bunch of money in your pocket, but you also might have a rich benefactor that owes you a couple of favors. You might mm. have family wealth that you've acquired over time. It, it essentially uh, gives it more of a story element of gathering items and acquiring possessions instead of just being like, I have number of money, I'd like to buy number of money. And it, it also makes it le less clumsy to just be like, you find 10,000 gold pieces. Well, how do I want to go ahead oh, and I like split that, that up? Though. Yeah, exactly. Well, some people- okay, so like I got a question then. Yes. So I was going to have my character have a bit where he was going to charge for the healing that he heals. Right. So how do uh, I go? Is that just like, that afford, in the story. But, it, but it sounds like it'll just be like, kick? they can afford to pay what you ask for. And then so, that's like the end of that. So this is we more of just, out? so this is just more of a, a player uh, run like wealth level. So if you have been really fortunate with your business, your wealth level will kind of slowly increase as you continue to adventure and more of like when you level up over time, your wealth level may also level up with you. Uh, However, you might come into events where you'll start getting more wealth levels as you go up. So, for example, if you go into a dra you defeat um, this is I'm using fantasy examples here. Um, if you go into a dragon's like uh, like a dragon's cave and kill a dragon and acquire the horde of a dragon, uh, each of you might actually go up a couple of wealth levels, making yourself wealthier than a typical character of your level. Um, <clears throat> so the way the wealth level works is that you'll be given a certain value. Each wealth level has a certain value. Um, things that are underneath your wealth level, um, especially like mundane items and things like that, are stuff that you would be able to purchase and acquire. So for example, if you have like a wealth level of two, which says you have a buying power of 100 gold pieces um, and you purchase something that's within the realm of wealth level of one, you just purchase that easy peasy. So that's like, you know, rations, basic weapons and armor, etc. The same thing that a level one character has the influence and purchase powers to go at that point. Um, so it's still, 
you're not going to notice any differences between the things and wealth that you're going to be able can, to acquire. Can your wealth go down? Yes, it can. So you can <laughs> you can buy. It, well, it made it sound like if stuff was too cheap for you in the sense of like, I'm too rich to care about buying rations. So they just give them to me. Yeah, well, that that's essentially what it is. So you have. So essentially, the idea is you have within your means the ability to acquire a bunch of rations, uh, different types of armor and things like that. And since it's within which since it's underneath your wealth level you can acquire those things um as your wealth level goes up and if you want to acquire for example a magic item you don't just it doesn't just magically appear within your inventory you still have to go out and figure out like you know where can i get a magic sword do i go to a craftsman who can make the magic sword what connections do you have and that encourages more story elements into the items that you acquire more role play elements more connection uh, establishment and Instead of the the gaming aspect of I have twenty thousand gold, let me just you know figure out how to balance that. It makes it a little easier to manage from a DM side, but also allows for more role play moments. So that as you acquire goods, um, it shows within your wealth level. Um, it also allows for good story elements like where your wealth level may decrease below your level because, you know, you've been robbed, a connection that you normally had has been severed for whatever reason. And, uh, and yeah, so it, it's, it's, it essentially just signifies what can you purchase, what can you acquire. Um, and it's better than just tracking like money that you have or finding more money. It's just during your time of adventuring, your wealth level will slowly, steadily increase. Huh. <clears throat> and uh, but this also allows you to purchase things above your wealth level if it so requires. That can also drop your wealth if you're expand if you're essentially stretching out your resources so so far out um you can acquire big heavier expensive things uh, but now it's just gone into all of your capital which will then decrease your wealth level so it just kind of just shows like the spending power of your character instead of just being like i i we go out and we have to make sure that we get x amount of gold how much do i have to charge my teammates to make a dent in their wealth level <laughs> Are you looking to like lower their wealth level to increase your wealth level? Like how exactly? He's definitely looking to lower all wealth I was levels. just thinking, you know, healthcare, everybody's, you know, they care about their health, so they'll pay uh -huh. for it. I mean, this is again an experimental system. If the players would rather keep track of currency the old fashioned gold way, we can go ahead and go that route. This was just more of a way to introduce, uh, because I really want to emphasize in phase three more the story element of the things that yeah. you acquire instead of pu pushing forth more like well, meta shit of how well, to track Brett, I think you, yeah, like you can kind of do both, right? A, a player can keep track of their own specific yeah. currency if they want to for specific purchases, well, but your I'm wealth all, level I'm can still be attributed right. to you. And, so, I mean, I'm, and... I'm, seeing, I'm seeing chats confused. I'm seeing you guys are kind of having your own concerns about this. This was something that I was really hoping to move forward in and and pitch but if you guys aren't feeling it not getting super excited about it we'll go back to normal gold and i have no problem with that so would you guys instead of i doing don't it, think it's bad i just don't know if i understand I, th I think i'd actually like it alongside normal gold i think it, just it, not sure it does add a lot of role play mm -hmm. potential so <clears throat> your wealth level will also signify like kinds of money that you have on your person as well so if you're looking to actually like have gold and have money and stuff like that or if you for example let's use gmart's example of wanting to charge other people now the thing with wealth level is yes it does get a little difficult when it's starting to work with player interacting like trying to lower their wealth like level yeah, i was thinking of just level. doing like minor amounts of gold where in your example it wouldn't really affect their wealth it'd just be like a minor inconvenience of like i seriously have to pay this guy like a uh, gold when yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. and that can yeah question, Yes, please. Um, so if my character starts gambling and uh, she happens to win big time, yes. does that just increase her wealth level? It's just, if, it's if you like, if you win like, you know, big time, like, yes, yes, that will that. So events like that. So for that, so let me let me use that as an example. So typically everyone starts off at a wealth level of two. Uh, a your if you have a higher charisma, you'll actually start off with a higher uh, level of wealth because you've already established yourself and made connections with your. So wealth is like a stat. 
Yes, it is. It's like okay. a stat slash level. Mm. Um, and you'll actually notice there's 20 wealth levels. There's 20 character levels. Your wealth level kind of equals around your character level. As you continue to adventure, your wealth level will passively uh, increase on its own. But if there are things out of the ordinary that happen, um, that can change your wealth breakdown. So, uh, for example, we'll use our Arix's gambling example. Um, Arix, at level one. But in one. this scenario, I win. I, I win, okay? I you want to do yeah. that? Just nothing? <laughs> okay, perfect, yeah. perfect, awesome. Yeah, Alex. So, uh, let's say, you know, we do some rolls, and after an evening over at the casino, you, you wipe them out. You essentially, you put in all of the money that you have in, and then you 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 make break bank not only do you break bank bank but you made like five times the winning that you did coming out there oh fuck your, yeah, yeah your wealth level of two will now increase to a wealth level of four which means not, now you have 20 not a 20 no 20 is literally <laughs> but if you like, went back with the four you could get eight <laughs> yeah so could... so th there is a table that you guys can see to signify where it is and the table itself matches what D, &D suggests the value of items should be according to the value of uh, levels that you have um so a wealth level of one for example means you pretty much are like juggling around about like 20 gold pieces around your person a wealth level mm -hmm. of two you're juggling around a hundred you have about per week you have like a hundred gold pieces of spending power um as right. you continue to adventure and things like that level is, 20 is, it is linear brett no it's oh, sorry, not go on. You're about to get no yeah, it's not I was no say. it's not uh it'll it'll continue to expand uh, like it, it, there's right. definitely an increase to a curve so for example level 20 is like two hundred and fifty thousand gold right. pieces you're able okay. to at that point you have the spending power to purchase keeps and ships start to operate smaller kingdoms and things like that it's the typical things that adventurers do once they reach up the, those kind of levels yeah uh, it's and like i said it's it ta it definitely takes away the more scory aspect of keeping currency and adds more of a role play aspect of this is kind of like the money and the spending power i would have at this point because i've been adventuring right. for a long time i've i so explored caves i've done things i've acquired money i've acquired connections with people and it gives it's the you the opportunity credit to score, that. dude it is yeah. it, it, it technically is kind of like a credit score quote unquote um Go on, Eric. So, so how how much wealth level do I have to have to buy the hot springs? To buy the oh hot springs God. itself? Buy <laughs> like the hot springs? Like how much? Like level fifteen? I, I assume Brett would assign it. Come on, to let me buy yeah. it. I would ab I would absolutely assign a level. Uh, yeah. I would I would assign. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the so thing. It, is like, it's just a way, Brett, to move away from like a really granular system, and it's just like almost like brackets now that yeah. you know exponentially increase your value in, in social prowess as well as monetary value absolutely and there's Benji story looks at his abacus and furrows his brow <laughs> but well, there's I wonder if I can buy that hot spring so <laughs> I knew you wanted to uh, uh, so like for example let's say like an established hot springs or a parcel of land you know, I'm just throwing out money. Obviously, I don't have the exact numbers for what parcels of land cost, but there will be. There absolutely will be. Um, let's say like a parcel of land for the hot the, this hot springs that is run by the Atropan government, even though no one really owns it. You can purchase it from Atropa. Let's let's give a price of like it's just land, you know, uh, twenty five thousand gold pieces. So if you have a wealth level of 14, which is within 31,000 and below, you could absolutely be like, I make a purchase. Now, after you do that, you can't just go out and be like, I also buy a bunch of really expensive, powerful magic items. You're, you're gonna be spent for a little while, but your wealth level will remain the same. And okay. what that, yeah. So there, so that a lot, for me, from a DMing so standpoint- excited, by the way. Yes, so me, from a DMing standpoint, this allows you to acquire the goods and things that you need to purchase stuff someone said no more broke level tens it is because i feel a lot of the time um it turns into almost like a mathematical game of like okay Wait, I have you to can make sure buy the most expensive thing and still be wealthy yes absolutely because your oh, wealth man. your wealth level is not just it, it isn't just a flat number of like okay you buy a thing and then you, it, it, all your money goes away it's your spending power so yes you can buy a big thing that's just underneath your wealth level and it'll be like 
it, there'll, there'll be some time in between, but then you can go ahead and buy something else later on. Or you could buy a bunch of cheap things and it still doesn't affect your wealth level. Or let's say we go back to Eric's example. You know, this is a $25,000 per or 25,000 credit, gold, whatever purchase. Uh, you've got a wealth level of 12, which is like, you've got a spending power of 18,000. You can call some favors, extend all the money you have, go, go for broke. You can still purchase the hot springs, but now your wealth level is going to drop down significantly, which means if you want to buy things in the future, you can't because your, your money is tapped out. And because of the reason, the way the multipliers work, because you've got that, that curved line, if you go down one or two or three wealth levels, that hurts, that hurts a lot. So 18,000 gold down to a wealth level of nine is 6,500 gold. So now you, your spending power to purchase things is tapped out because you you went all in on the hot springs. You were like, I want those hot springs, I want it now. And while everyone else is still purchasing, you know, able to purchase things within their power, you're spent, you're tapped out. And that's because in the IOverse specifically, there's going to be a lot of things that's going to increase and decrease your wealth level. You may have a, you may start owning, working on owning factories, owning uh, farmland, having your own businesses operate um, through your own acumen that will increase your wealth level higher than your current level. Um, and that's just the general idea behind that. It's an easier way to also acquire, like, for example, uh, material items for, for wizards. If you're like, hey, this is within my limit, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a couple of things. And, uh, and yeah, it just allows for more of a story element. Um, there's still going to be like gold value. So like if you want to have like, you know, energy credits within your pocket, you can still do that. It's it, But this just kind of like gives you a value to everything that you are currently operating with. Lauren, did you have a question? Party based or player based? No, no. It's uh, player based. So okay. this one, what, what this allows you to do <clears throat> is that each of you can go ahead and purchase a thing that you need, essentially, without being like, hey, let's get our all gold together and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get the big thing and then everyone's going to be broke. Well, uh, yeah, go on. Well, sorry, I was just going to say, because I, I have seen this. A few, I don't know if you're about to address this, but I have seen a few people in chat talking about this and and yeah. if it's not linear, you can't literally just add your wealth levels together, right? You can't no. say with five people with, with wealth level two can't suddenly be a wealth level 10 because again, no, it's not but, linear. But I do have a table associated with it. So five people right. with wealth level three, um, that is, uh, okay, actually I'm going to use this. Four, five, five people with, there with level, a level way two. to not gain wealth level. Like, what do you mean? Like, stay poor. Like, if, do, like, by Cause like choice. in my mind, my character like never like gets rich, rich. Absolutely, absolutely. Or, like, never has like businesses or anything. Absolutely, or, like, passive income. Yeah, yeah. So what that so the, and that's kind of where the role play element comes in. So you could be like, I'm a guy that's got bad fortune, which means I want to suffer. If you if you want to suffer a wealth penalty because that's who you are, um, we can absolutely do that. So while everyone is increasing their wealth, your wealth might increase a little bit slower. So while everyone's kind of like, it's, if wealth levels are slowly going up as you guys are completing quests, you can literally be like, and I gamble it away. It's, it's, up, it's ultimately up to you of what that is. All the score gives you is just the spending power that your person pass at that point if you would like to to stay at a lower wealth level you have the complete option to do that but as you guys are adventuring around completing quests looking through <laughs> um like uh like vaults and and, and 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 gathering treasure and things like that that's why that's where you slowly begin to increase otherwise the alternative method uh, that dms have to do is they have to plan points where they're like okay so all the players should have about four thousand gold on them i need to find a thing where there's like piles of gold everywhere or i need to have someone that gives you that amount of gold etc cetera, etc cetera. it just becomes a little more there definitely is a lot more meta e meta that goes with currency and there goes and there's also and what we see with a lot of DD campaigns mine included is players who are level 10 level 11 level 12 who are supposed to have all these items that the dm's guide says they're supposed to have and they don't because they haven't been compensated correctly for the things that they need to do there's a lot of balance that needs to go here and what wealth level allows uh, us to do is focus more on the story element and the role play and allow you guys to tell the stories that you want to do without having to get into a currency 
balance thing. Now, if a party would prefer to use a currency-based system because that's what they want to do, ultimately the campaigns are for parties themselves. So I'm okay uh, with either way. If you guys want to give a, um, <clears throat> if you guys want to give the wealth level a, a thing a try, we can absolutely do new that system. as well. You want to try the new system? I'm super down like to it. try it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with it. It's a new new place to experiment with stuff. It's yeah, because to me, it's the way I envision this, especially if you start with a higher wealth level. Um, there's certain things that your character might want to get or might already have, for example, um, and you only start with 10 gold pieces. You're like, I buy this, 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 but I think I would have, I think my character would have more because of these explanations. And uh, <laughs> aristocrat with five gold to my neck. Yeah, yeah. Ex ex exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this allows you, this system allows you to. It, it makes things, it streamlines things a, a, a much as well when you're going, okay, I'll buy like five healing potions. You're like, your wealth level would permit you to have that and your wealth level wouldn't go down, which means you can now do things, prepare for your adventure without penny pinching everything because the DM didn't give you an amount of, uh, of gold. Um, someone asked, background change, change your starting wealth level. So uh, another thing for you guys, um, you all at level one will not start with a background. Instead, your background is actually going to be built up and evolved as the, the campaign continues because this is this, your story. This is your story from the beginning. So you guys are actually going to be building up your, your background uh, as you level up at that point, um, allowing you to build your own custom background, which means you all at some point in time will be getting like your own unique abilities that uh, like are custom available. proficiencies and stuff yes like so that's you can shoot that's really cool i like that yeah so you choose your own proficiencies but also you know those backgrounds that kind of give that like you have you, like a merchant you have old connections with merchants that give you blah blah mm. blah we can create a custom one each for you based off of the story that you guys are building the ioverse mm. The common trend that I'm pointing out here, especially with Ioverse, is like phase two, I did, uh, phase two was great. I did the game mechanic. I made it feel gamey. That was fun. Phase three, I want to embrace the story. I want to embrace the role play. I want to embrace telling a tale that you guys get to write page by page. Um, of course, there's still going to be fun game mechanics, but I don't want them to interfere with the story that you guys are going to tell. So that's what that's also why I'm experimenting with the wealth system because it allows you guys to tell the story that you have. Um if for like for example, you guys may I just want to toss this out. You might find a rich benefactor that will be like, "Listen, anything you need anytime. My life, I owe my life to you." And your wealth level might go up 2 points just from that because you've got a, a, a you, you've got someone who's investing in you. If we you. killed him and took his wealth, how much more would our wealth level go up? <laughs> the same? It, 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 more there's a or lot, less? There's a lot like of We lost wealth because we lost the connection the guy had to other people because he's dead. Yeah. Well, well, okay, so 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 yeah, so yeah, you might actually get a wealth gain at that point in time, <laughs> but you have to but you have to also understand like who's the guy that you just killed. If we're looking at modern day examples where it's like, yo, I'm an expert at the stock market, I always make money, don't worry about him. it. And you kill him, yeah, he's got like <laughs> he's got like a hundred thousand bucks in his bank account that you stole out there, but that's gonna burn really quickly. So what you're gonna see is like a temporary wealth increase, and then your level's gonna slowly right, start descending. Yeah, exactly. Sense. And that's what it is. It's like there's the wealth system's really fun because there's a lot of cool ways that you can interpret like what a wealth what a wealth gate is, what a wealth loss is. You can get temporary wealth gains. You can get temporary wealth boons that slowly go down over time because you don't know how to utilize the the funding that's happening over there. Um it, the, when if you successfully you know befriend an elder who's like hey the village owes you that might be a wealth increase because at that point you know he's got the connections that can give you more funding or even send stuff to you uh in a matter of, so there's a lot there's so many cool ways that you can actually just explain that and yeah you don't have broke adventurers at level 10 who's like i've got 50 gold to my name what the fuck are we doing right now to be fair i feel like if a level 10 adventurer was poor they yeah. are high enough level within their means to be like, I'm gonna go like kill some rare monster. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, and that, that I'm is. I'm gonna go they, get paid. But but but, here, but here's the thing, right? We've got to do a sidestep thing to be like, all right, I'm That's gonna go. True. I'm gonna go kill that thing because I don't From have your money. Your perspective for a narrative, I do see how it would be annoying. 
Yeah, yeah. To and be then, like, ah, fuck, we need to do the money session. Well, and then it is. It's like that yeah. we. Have to, it's the fact that we have to do a money session. It's like to me is it, yeah, it's fun and we can have a lot of fun with it, but it is. It's like we got to do the money session. We got to kill this thing because I'm underpowered. You know, it's 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 that kind of shit that I I really want. Yeah, that like I don't want to do filler episodes. I want to I want to I want every episode, every session to feel like we're progressing and we're writing a story, you know, and that's yeah, that's where where it is. And I sorry if I sound like heated or really, but I'm really passionate about no, phase I, three. I get it, man. I think it's a great uh, idea because yeah. it's like I remember we were always unsure what our gold was. Yeah. And this just makes it so much easier to keep track of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. It is. It's a very scary concept at first. You're like, but my money, and it's like, yeah. Yes, we are losing like the score aspect of you know. How, how am I winning, son? You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're it's a little we're, bit more abstract, it's not as, as concrete yes. as this is your value, yes. Right? And and as a, as a DM, I'm still responsible to make sure that your wealth values are reflected accordingly. Another reason why I wanted to add, yeah, go on, please. Oh, oh I was gonna say, forget it, it was it was something really stupid. Oh, now I add, now I add, well, now we got to know, yeah. It. yeah, now I get it, yeah. No, just go on, all right. I really Stupider wanted. the better. <laughs> okay, okay. So if I bought a second hot spring, would could we incorporate a hot spring level? Like a <laughs> level? This guy okay, is thinking that's what so I was, I told No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. That's a cool no, idea. No, no, no. No, here, here's the thing, right? So when you buy a hot spring or you buy a second hot spring, technically, you kind of have a... a yeah, you can kind of like have a hot spring level, are but you, it depends... <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing with the hot springs? Are you That's asking, the next question. Are you asking the DM if you can have a property portfolio with a level assigned to it while you're playing this game? Yes. And that Bro, we're level increases <laughs> and that increases your wealth value because you have a portfolio of properties that you may you may have your own hot springs that you're running out to the rich and famous you may be doing it successfully and yes while your wealth level may have taken a hit it may slowly increase and it may we're going to space beyond. and i'm leaving you i love how many yeah, times you just said space. may right yeah. yeah. it, it really depends on if he can utilize both hot springs and monetize yeah. them. It's one thing yeah. to buy the land. It's another thing I to use it. the land. Alex, it makes sense. Yeah. I, I, all I, I, I ever it it no, no, it 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 is hot springs. Nah, this guy hasn't run a small business. <laughs> one hot spring is going to be hard enough. What if someone drops a dookie in it, dude? He's well, going to try and run two? <laughs> okay. Well, well, dookie right. insurance. <laughs> all, all, also, also, we have to make sure that, uh, you know, Alex's character, who you just said, is a terrible gambler. Yeah, Copium uh, will I never not, be able to run a business successfully. I am not Yakuza role playing, okay? Crippling are, gambling though. backstory wants to be a property owner. Yeah, this is the we next. Some kind of okay, side maybe quest I with am. Like a guy, just, a full-grown man in a diaper. This be really this funny. Is, yeah, this is the next get rich quick. You know, is this gonna be just a get rich quick scheme, or is this actually? A I'm, not Yakuza, you? I'm not Yakuza Copium. I'm not Yakuza. So yeah, I mean, those are all things that can be reflected in your wealth, depending on what you want to do. So if you, yeah, if you want to be like, I want to operate two well, uh, warm, you know, two hot springs. I want to go ahead and operate that and manage it. We we can do some rolls and see if you are running a successful business. Eric says, have you ever shown your back to your chat? <laughs> the I massive dragon. Your, his giant, no, he has no. a giant, <laughs> he has a giant koi tattoo on his back. I don't think he's ever shown chat. <laughs> Are you calling Wait. out? <laughs> oh, amazing. That's wow. Wait, how did you see his bare back? <laughs> Hold on. We're, I'm trying to find an image so I can oh, yeah. show you. I saw it in uh, LA. It's really good. It looks really cool. Yeah. He got it in Japan. Holy shit. Um, so. Kind of a big file. Sorry. No, it's that's all good. Um, but that's, <laughs> where, that, but, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. I don't wow, know about that, dude. that's sick. <laughs> Hold on. I I look up what Copium was. I didn't. That's I not... haven't heard that meme before, so oh, now God. I know. It's Laura, Laura, <laughs> you haven't heard of Copium? Oh, it's precious. a great no, one. La yeah, no, Laura, Laura's too good for the Twitch space. Copium's <laughs> a keeper. But Copium is a keeper, yeah. Once you discover Copium, you're just like, I get that. That's what I love about How Twitch. How do you say it? Do you Cop just like say it or? Copium. Copium. Copium is like, you're so desperate to believe in something that you are literally breathing hope out of a can. You're huffing yep. cope. You're coping. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. coping. Oh. 
You're huffing that copium. You're huffing copium. And and like I said, the only thing that can make you cope. That's now do you I... see why my character is called Kopi? Yum. Kopi? Kopi yum? Oh. Kopium is like the ultimate form of denial. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. my character's existence. Like how you would use it. Man, so, I want to know that character. I want to get to know it. So, um, hopefully I've explained the, the wealth system well enough for you guys. Do you guys, is that something you guys want to try? You want to try out for this campaign? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah that's what it, it sounds fun. And if uh, everything's always in beta, which means that if shit doesn't work or if shit is not fun, I have no problem we being like, it. yeah, I have no problem being like that don't work. And then we can go back to the things that do work. So, but I uh, also what's cool about uh, your wealth value is that your charisma score um, will actually uh, help start your influence, your starting wealth because of your connections. So if you have a charisma score of 12 or higher, your wealth level, which normally starts at two, now starts at three. And if you have a 15 or higher in charisma, your wealth level uh, will go up to, f will actually start at four, which means your characters will actually have a lot of spending power for when mm. you're actually building things. I'm also Is that elective too? Like, do you get to choose whether or not you're that high? Because you might be a very Absolutely. charismatic bard that's down Absolutely. on his luck. After, right. I mean, a, a, any any system that you're like that doesn't match with my character, I'd rather go ahead and and, and take the hit on that. Right. Um, you're free to go ahead and. and do it just that. allows you to select up to it that. It grants That's cool. you the freedom. Yes. Also, since we're talking about experimental systems, and I'm apparently going buck wild, uh, <laughs> your intelligence modifier will allow you additional class proficiencies or languages. So if you have with your intelligence modifier, you can choose additional class proficiencies or an additional language if you'd like. So, for example, if you have an intelligence modifier of two, uh, you can have two additional class proficiencies or two additional intelligence uh, or sorry, two additional languages or one, one proficiency, one language, however the hell that you want to do it. Yeah. So it gives Man, I'm going to be real with D&D. How much has language ever come up for you guys in campaigns? A, a decent amount. Never. I don't know how much I've called on my languages. I'm trying we, to remember. Well, then I, I know I got to change that. I know, yeah, I, have a lot of, change of, I know I have a lot of people that uh, speak common up in here. Yeah, a lot of commoners <laughs> yeah. up in here, a lot of common yeah, yeah, speakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, but, uh, you know what, uh, that's Gmart's calling me out. He, he, call, he, he made a post. He no, a well, I was just thinking about, about it and like how much of a slight inconvenience no, it is. No, 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 no. Everyone speaks is, Elvish. Everyone speaks no, Elvish no, in this no, village. We're going hard mode. We're going hard mode now. All languages is, guy says something in language most of the party doesn't understand. Character understands it. Character parrots it back yep. to the party. Yep. Continue. Yep. It just like slows everything down. There, there, there's certain things in D&D &D that just don't work but have stayed there for traditional sake <coughs> languages are one of them especially when like languages like, like rp wise i get i'm like sick i can speak like draconic or something yeah 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 for it, it, i think for most part it is specifically for like rp purposes because now there's or like the potions. gnomish that's true i had to translate the gnomish in under io yeah and there's also um yeah there's allows your characters translate stuff find stuff that works there and that's just the responsibility of your dm to make your languages useful so you know wait you know i'll i'll make i'll uh i, I writing i think is better for languages than spoken. that um yeah and there's also like comprehend language of spell and potions etc et that's true that's true yeah and i think there's literally like a warlock thing that's like i understand all mm -hmm. languages and you're like, like something yeah. demon ties yeah. room keeper yeah um, yeah and you're like cool that's awesome so yeah yeah there's definitely things but when you guys are making your character sheets, uh, don't worry about your uh, background. But if you do have an intelligence modifier, uh, get yourself a couple of extra proficiencies as long as they're within your uh, within your class. I will also let you know uh, in combat, specifically like big story encounters, and they are they are at, uh, in combat. In this one, I really want to feel more like uh, like stories and instead of just being like you're fighting a big thing that has all these mechanics. Um, these encounters will have uh, stuff that you can spend bonus actions and actions um, to use your intelligence-based skills to learn more about the encounter um, to give you the Are upper hand. Uh, scans? Are these different uh, from scans? So, yeah, so scans still exist as like a freebie to learn stuff, but 
you're very limited to what you can learn from scanning now. So okay. like you're never you can't scan getting nerfed. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, scan's getting nerfed hardcore. <laughs> it, 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 like, read the patch notes, man. Yeah, come read on. the yeah. Come on, man. You weren't on the Reddit. Uh, scan now literally can only teach like what's happening in that round. Like what's the encounter uh, ability in that round? Mm -hmm. Um, like uh, like the common attacks that the creature can do. And also to learn if a specific ability score, if uh, a creature has proficiency in that save or not. So you're like, hey, are they proficient in wisdom saving throws? And I'm just like, yes or no. Um, but also you can scan as a bonus action and an action now as well, if you'd like to go ahead and okay. do that. Brett, is there no way to view the HP now? Well, that is because everyone is going to see the health bar of a creature. So you'll Whoa. always you'll always see the health bar of a creature, but you won't know how many hit points that's, they have. Oh, oh like that. that's interesting. So yep. we'll know like percentage wise how we're doing. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you, you won't see a percentage. You'll just see the but bar we'll see, slowly we'll see the go bar down. Green. Yeah, that's just red versus green. Percentage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but you but you won't see like a flat number. So you'll right. have to guess like, we I don't know, yeah. that's like 70%. Well, yeah, you, we'll just yeah. beat the shit out of it with one big move and gauge how far the bar went. And exactly. then we run. <laughs> Exactly. Um, but yeah, so there'll be like um, intelligence based scores that you can like you might actually you'll you'll get access to a character sheet that'll be like intelligence, GC, blah, blah, blah. And like a like a subtle hint of what it is. And whenever you discover things or use your big brain to learn more about the creature, um, it'll typically give you like a, it'll give you like a boon for that fight. Um, but you still have to beat the DC, which means if you fail to beat the DC, then that's a wasted action or bonus action. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it gives our it gives our big brain boys something to do in combat instead of just being like, well, this was fun. You know, I'm going to use Arcana to do a couple of things. And that's it. I, w I definitely want I want intelligence skills to have a use uh, in combat as well as out of combat. So you don't feel bad if, for, for taking a skill that barely gets used like perception right. stealth you know there's a lot of skills that we see get used a lot and there's a lot of skills we don't get to see used a lot yeah so i i don't i i'm doing my best to make sure that there isn't like a clear winner when it comes to like skills that you can go ahead and do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that, variety just, choice variety and choice exactly exactly uh okay do you guys have any questions whatsoever for me before I continue. Um, no. I'm waiting for Alex to be like, what if I buy a third, third hot spring? Man, level it up to level three. I wasn't going to say pale. it, but... <laughs> but uh, I just got back. Are we still talking about hot springs? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay. So, um, so with that, without further ado, um, let me see here. So for character creation... You'll be making your characters in D and D Beyond. You'll be using your, and I'll 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 make sure you guys have this in paper form as well. Um, for your stat array, uh, you're going to be using a stat array, so 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and eight. Um, if you're playing an IO specific race, just label your race as IO verse race. I'll be adding the race into D and D Beyond, so that way you're good to go. Um, any race that you do, like a standard D and D race, the ability score increase is now replaced with. Uh, Increase plus two to ability score of your choice or plus one to two ability scores in your choice. <coughs> All Ioverse races have that. Um, but if you're using like a like a standard like D&D race, you'll be able to, to do that at that point. Um, by the way, uh, just as a side note, I'm, I'm thinking hot springs and like, <laughs> like mechanically. <laughs> no, like imagine like going on a quest like certain hot springs will like. Hey, if you short rest in this hot spring, it'll double heal you. Or like, if you short, if you short rest, rest in a hot spring, it counts as buffs. a long rest. Yeah, it's oh, shit, like, well, yeah. Shit, shit like that. But it's up to the hot spring owner to actually create like what is the buff. Like you can't get it all. You have to choose like the, what what is this. Spring aren't you useful? glad I brought up the hot spring? Absolutely. We Absolutely. always were, Alex. We yeah, we always, always were. Hot yeah, we all love the hot springs. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's just like. If <laughs> this campaign just turns into a hot spring thing, it's like I can I can build some mechanics around that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean that hot spring, dude. The warm spring, Alex. That's like bigger than Lundy, our, our home village. That's a big spring. That's a big ass spring. Yeah. You can separate it and shit. I got so gotta, many business ideas. 
But you no. gotta watch. But you gotta watch out. There's already a hunters camp there. Are they? Are they aggressive? Are they cool with it? They will is it, be. Is it a sacred warm spring? You don't know. You have to find that out. You have to play along. <laughs> You're gonna get fucked up then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, stabs? You're like, oh god. All right. Uh, so, um, I apologize for giving you guys uh, new system overload. I didn't expect to go so heavy into wealth, but I'm glad I did. Um, so instead of, uh, you also, you all start with a, uh, a lesser shard stone. So, uh, in, in the IOverse, uh, I have created a system called the shard stone system. Kind of think of them as like talent points in an MMO. They're magical items that you can make that, that'll give you buffs. That is a part of you, but you only have a certain number of, uh, shard stone slots that you can use. So at level one... Uh, you only have one shard stone slot. And essentially the way it works is like you, you use a shard stone, you could have it be on your person, you could have it be a part of your, your, your psyche, your soul, like you absorb it in within you, however you want to role play or explain it. But essentially the idea is a shard stone is kept on your person, it is kept safe, so you don't have to worry about someone stealing it or pickpocketing or et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Now, if you'd like to go ahead and make it so that like, oh, I, I want to wear it, I want it to be able for someone to steal my shard stone. Then, yeah, that that is that can be played. That can be absolutely there. So, you all start with a starter shard stone, and uh, each shard stone uh, will give you an increase to plus one of an ability score. So this is where your plus one to an ability score comes from. Um, so you guys can choose a, a, a starter shard stone of strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. What's also cool about shard stones is that if you find rest, certain recipes, you can actually combine shard stones into greater shard stones that give you a combination of abilities. I will also let you know, for example, um, one of the recipes that you can find is a shard stone that combines all the starter shard stones together to give you plus one to every ability score. Mm. So there, it, it gives you, think of it, what's really cool also is you can uh, trade shard stones, you could re-equip, so you could be like, I want plus one dexterity, and then you might find like, no, I, I need plus one constitution for this, for this day or whatever. This gives you like the flexibility to like change around your stats. You might also find shard stones that increase your movement speed by five. You may find shard stones that allow you to spend half, you know, no movement to get up from prone. It's just little <clears throat> little mini traits that you can acquire upon yourself to just really customize yourself the way that you want to. Um, so I'm going to ask each one of you, and if you don't have a, an idea of what you want your shard stone to be. Also, if you have any questions, if I didn't explain it correctly, feel free to ask. But I would like to ask each and every one of you. And this is just the, the, pri the single primary stat that it, it buffs plus one? Yes, um, you can actually yeah. choose a shard stone that um, buffs the one that you got plus two in. So if you decide your race to right. have, like, for example, plus two to strength, you could also choose a shard stone that increases your strength if you're going all in on strength. Oh and yeah, then, yeah, mm. then, yeah, yeah. You can you can do it that way if you'd like as well. I got a question. Yes. My racial <laughs> is plus two to one score, plus one to another, or that plus just... one to three scores. I'm assuming I just fill that in whatever. Yeah, so that that is That's literally part of that, race, right? Yeah, so that becomes plus two to an ability score, plus one to two ability scores. You lose the plus one. Yeah, that's just the new stuff. I've already yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Wait, what? GMR? No, so, no, I don't. You, you basically, you don't get the plus. You, you, so that's the new system where you get plus two to one and then plus one to another, or just plus one to three. So yeah. it's actually rolling back to the plus two to one or plus one to two system but then you also get a shard stone on top of that which, which, improve, which improves it. your ability score yes yeah um so I have just a question, Ms. fill in the plus two and he'll do the plus one now so yeah. when i'm do so when i'm filling in my plus two plus one the plus one i have to know is coming from the shard not the racial correct well so for now well because um do you want to just use the default rabbit race or do you want to like make a custom one because i yeah i, I guess we were, we were yeah i guess i'll hold off on that so yeah for now just select ioverse mm. uh race um and then and don't worry about that and what'll what what's gonna happen is i'll ask you what you want your ability scores to be improved by and then i'll just i'll just make mm. it myself i'll just put it myself 
when I'm building your 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 race into D and D Beyond, and I'll just add that to your character sheet. I'll also add the shard stone to your character sheet as well, so that you'll I'll take care of that. Is the bottom line? You've got nothing to worry about there. <laughs> Head hurt, brain empty. Yeah, yeah, just brain empty. That's all you got to worry about. Sorry, Sam. What were you gonna say? Yeah, yeah, Sam. What were you gonna ask? Uh, are we? Can we roll our stats, or is it standard array? Standard array: 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and eight. Not what are you guys jump standing? <laughs> oh, but I already know what I want my shards stat. done in. Oh yeah, so let me let me uh, go down the list. Uh, Sam, what do you want your shard stone in? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will leave that as um, I mainly because I know, um, <clears throat> I know someone else wanted to tank. I don't know if they want to reveal <laughs> if they had to tank, but uh, and then you can I, leave it. You now can leave that Breeze, for now. yeah, now that Breeze also a cleric. I don't know if uh, because I was gonna dump stack con, but I don't know if I need to. I might yeah. do like uh, charisma. Con's stack. always good. But and like I said, what what's cool about the shardstone system? is you can choose a shard stone now, find another starter shard stone later, and just switch it. So you it's can not- swap it? Yeah, you can swap it. So it, oh, what cool. we are currently receiving would be like, I'll take a plus one deck shard stone. Yep. And if I found a plus one of strength, con, intelligence, wisdom, Krista, I could combine them all into a, a plus one across the board stone or some shit? Yep, that is correct. Huh, okay. Cool. Yep. Interesting. Yepers. Um, so yeah, feel free if you uh, want to think about it, Sam. You are welcome to do so. Um, Arix, do you have an idea of what you'd like your plus one to go into, or would you like to think about it? Um, yeah, I need I need to think about it because uh, you know I still haven't fully fleshed out like my character in a I'll sense, go. like mechanically, and also we still have to go over like the race stuff as yeah. well. So I I think I should just wait. Okay, sounds good to me. Bree. I don't know yet either. Okay. <laughs> Benji. Red starts sweating. So somebody will want the shard. <laughs> Benji said you don't know either, so you can fit um, in. Oh uh, no, no, I've never done that, Alex, and I'm not going to start now. Damn um, it! I, I, I'm an artificer, so everything I physically have goes purely towards intelligence and nothing hell else. Yeah. So I'm going to put it in. in. Oh hell yeah! There you go. Uh, so you're gonna be you're gonna be the 18 int boy. I like it. I'm 18 int level one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, G Mark. Oh man, <laughs> nerd. I always struggle with <laughs> D and D because with the stats, you always want to get them on an even, right? If you plus one to an odd, it's kind of like a wasted point. No, you don't I, get the I would say you get not, not like a waste, but I would say not level one because you get, like you get your ability score improvement at four, and it's like. Even if you're an odd number, a lot of traits give you plus one in a single stat, plus a trait. <clears throat> I'm basically torn between dex for just like increased punch damage or wisdom for increased healing later. But I guess dex, I don't know if it comes Dex into play. also will raise your AC. Yeah, mm. AC is good. Which is um, why I'm thinking I should try to. I could basically either get 18 dex or oh, that's good. 15 well, wisdom, which is I like, like whatever. You want to become a healer, right? You're not starting as one. Yeah, it's true. I guess I can grow into it. You I'll take a deck down. shard then, sure. my lord. Also, um, ugh. also, sorry. I will, um, I'm, I'm, for those that are proficient in medicine, I still have to check on the healer feat, but I'm actually thinking about giving whoever has the medicine. The way that you have to take an entire feat if you want to use a healing kit in any yeah, like, capacity. Yeah, so, so so the idea is, and I, I'm still this is this is still in in the beta sta stage in my mind. Um, I still have to look at the feat, but the idea is, if you are proficient in medicine, you just get the you just get the the feat for free. Is essentially it. Because I really do feel like it's a wasted fucking feat. It's it's something. It's so it doesn't even garbage. heal that much. It's like one d five or something. The, um, it's like the grappler feat, which literally does nothing because all the mechanics are in five e anyway. So yeah, it's just yeah, actually yeah. just a con. It's just hot garbage. Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll let you know, um, but I I have to look at the uh, I have to look at the the healer feat. Um, but that is what I've been. Having some shower thoughts, having some ponderings about. I still just have to look at look at it. So, but I know you were interested in medicine kit, so I'll give you. Uh, I'll yeah, I know. think I get 
proficiency in medicine at like level three. Yeah. Uh, so I Don't apologize. Don't start with it. Yeah, all good. So I apologize. What did you did you have a, sh a starter? Uh, Dex. Uh, Dex. Dex. Hog. No. And uh, Laura, do you know what shard stone you want to start with? Um, I'm I'm not sure if I should do Dex or Int. Um, just because I remember last time people were telling me about certain kind of rogues that did like psychic stuff yeah. so um maybe i'll have to think about it <laughs> okay yeah think about it and and like i said that what's really cool is you could always switch it around later <coughs> star shards does are actually relatively cheap so it's uh it's all it's all good it's all great in fact pushes up glasses <laughs> uh if you have a if you have a wealth level of four you could probably acquire one without dropping your wealth level. Wowee. Ha <laughs> ha. Laughs nervously. Pushes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, anyways. So there's that. All right. So uh, the next thing we're going to do. I know a couple of you will probably skip this, but that's okay. I still want you to roll anyways for funsies. Uh, oh, God. That's right. I'll That's humor correct. it, but I don't know if it'll stick. Yeah, no, it's all good. Okay, so... <clears throat> in the world of Io, the former gods Div and Void have long since been woven into the tapestry of history. While Div and Void's influences are but a dwindling story now, there are still a rare few attuned to their mites, the Radiant and the Void Touch. You may still have that lingering influence. So, uh, everyone will be rolling at this point a... And I'll tell you when. We'll be rolling a D20. If you roll a 20, you have the option to become a Radiant or Void Touch character. What this allows you to do, it gives you some cosmetic changes that we can go ahead and talk about. Um, like little like little mini like cantrips and shit like that that are non-combat oriented. But it also allows you the option to start with a different array. Specifically, 16, 14, 13, 11, 10, and 8. So you'll actually start off with a 16 um, as your highest stat. So I feel uh, like you're bribing us. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, that's 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 just the uh, that is the I was that, like, even if I landed, I probably won't take it. And you're like, and, you and, get one stat point. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like it, it, I really wanted to emphasize that this is not something that will be forced upon you. If you roll the 20, you could be like, I pass. You can't give it to anyone else, but it is also cool just to be like, <laughs> I, I curse, pass. I curse somebody else with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You won't be able you to can't give, give it, it to someone it. else, but can you force it to somebody else? No, no, saying. you can't. No, you pounds table. You, you definitely cannot. can't? No, okay. No, no, yeah. But uh, if you guys are down, uh, we'll go ahead and do the yeah. rolls. Uh, Sam, we'll start. Sam, we'll start with you. Slash roll uh, space 1d20. <laughs> Okay, wait, I lost the window because I was making a character. Would slash roll space d20 work, or does it have to be one? I have no one idea. Right, I'll do one. <laughs> the, 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 I have no I idea. Have, the I have the no answer idea. is I have no idea. Yes, you can slash do slash roll, roll d20, d20, right? You can do 1d20, you can also do d20. d20 also works. 13. All right. Nothing happens to you. Arix, roll a 1d20, please. No, chat. If they don't roll, if they roll a one, they don't get minus one point. I die. Dude, I'm gonna get this so easily right now. I got this. D twenty, uh, slash roll. D bam. Oh! He ah! died on the spot. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. That gambling minus addiction, one. dude. That minus gambling, the gambling addiction kicking in. <laughs> Dump that just got even dumpier. Oh my god. Uh, and you could hear oh, all. Didn't work. You, okay, you, it worked yeah, this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear <laughs> off in the distance the hot springs drying up. No. <laughs> Jackie, does this actually do anything? No, no, no. It does nothing. You're good. Uh, oh, I thought it was How do I make a new character in this fucking website? Oh, D and D Beyond. Yeah. I gave you the the link to the the site, right? Yeah, there was like a character sheet link thing. Oh, uh, D&D Beyond. I'm looking at fucking Foundry. Like, yeah, no, no, I yeah can I do a double oh, yeah. or nothing? No. <laughs> double what or does nothing? that mean? You lose some stat? Like, I don't what's the double or nothing. What, what, if you roll another... Okay, so uh, do you want to do... Oh, man. Someone give me oh, the... Okay. Okay. What, Wait, what, I, 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 I was too excited. I rolled double anyway. Nothing, you Someone lost. give me the D&D <laughs> Beyond link, please, <laughs> God. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, it's, uh, you know, everyone. Hold on. He's dead. 
Everyone pause. I, I gotta get this link for Sam. All right. Uh, here we are. Boop. Copy. Boop. Paste. There it is. I've, I've dropped the link. I was about to say, if you roll another one, I get to start you with like a shitty stat array because you're just so meek <laughs> You and get frail. eight, 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 eight. <laughs> you're so meek and frail. Figure it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I felt the, I felt the gamba itch in my. I was like, no, 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 no. Holds up, holds up hand. No, 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 no. Uh, <gasps> can't, I can't. Uh, Bree. I'm rolling. Dual roll. Oh, close ish. Close, close. Well, close. actually, not closer Maybe. than any other number, but. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Benji. Oh, the goal is uh, you have to hit the 20 or or you, you don't get yeah, it. Yeah, you want the 20. I see. Well, like, yeah. Yeah. You might want the 20. Yeah. 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 If you get a 20, you get you get an option that's added on to your race. Okay. Uh, G Mart. Oh. And well. Laura. All right. So, uh, everyone. Triple this... or nothing. Triple or nothing. <laughs> All right. Just, just like minus three to his main stat. Yeah. Every, uh, so everyone here <laughs> is balanced, completely neutral and normal. Div and Void do not influence your beings of fate. You'll did, have uh, to. Did other parties get a. We've got touch? one radiant party member. Mm. Uh, Lucky as a, as a season one radiant pie member, been there, done that. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? been there, done that. Yeah, as a void gone balanced, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, Juniper. Full season ones in this group. Yeah, that's all. That's why I was like, all right, now I'm gonna introduce the div void, and I was waiting for everyone to be like, <laughs> nope, done, done, there, with done, it. That over <laughs> done with it, done with it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so Juniper was the only one that rolled a twenty, and she is uh, radiant. She chose the side of radiant, so. And that's uh, that was, per that was pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. And with, so with that, a but a but um, a but a but um. Let me go ahead and do a final check. I'm still recovering from a head cold, so my 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 brain empty. Uh. All right. So session one. Are you guys cool with next Tuesday? At 7 p.m. EST. Yeah. Does that yes. ding, 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 work? Does that still work for everyone? Yeah. Do we not want I'm like sure an extra I can week? rip myself away from Elden Ring for three hours or four yes. hours. Yes. Yes. I uh, already yes. had to push. I've already had to push a campaign back because it was Elden Ring Day. Cowards. <laughs> so yes. Uh, Arix, what were you about to say? Do we want to like? Give an extra week, like for like preparation, character preparation, or nah, or we're is, good. Is oh, okay. I I leave it up to you. Yeah, if I didn't have character art in time, I was just gonna use the picture. <laughs> that same link. <laughs> um, I figured if Krendor can have a whole season of uh, Skagzag artwork, I could use some fucking hand drawn. Yeah, yeah, but that you was know. Yeah, that was hand drawn by himself. I know. That was a work of art. We're, so we're very proud of him. We're very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Laura. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Um, Eric, Eric, do you want an additional week? I don't mind if we no, want to wait. No, I mean, it, I was just I was just suggesting it, uh, but if, if everyone it can be ready, week? then... I could take um, an extra late week or leave an week? extra week. Leak. I could be cool with an extra week because I don't know if my art character art will be. Like, it, it gives more time for character art. <laughs> so I could do either. You know what? Why don't we take the extra week? Does that sound good with everyone? Because that way, I, I got a new campaign next week. Instead of having two new campaigns back to back, I'll have a campaign next week, then a new campaign the week after. And that'll give everyone a chance to get their stuff together. And I don't yeah, mind that. extra week as well. Are Tuesdays like just uh, us? Yep. Or is it going to be. Oh, okay. Cool. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. EST is your. Is your your week? I will <laughs> smirks in Elden Ring wins again. <laughs> well, actually, that works out for you then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I know. I would have played anyway. I was excited to play next week. Now I have to wait another week. Thanks. Yeah. Everyone. What the hell, guys? Oh, you can never. I, win. Know, I was just suggesting so. Never win. No, no. I, 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 Eric, I, you know? I, 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 we're taking an additional week. I've decided. 
me. Okay. No one else. <laughs> so the eighth? So yes, the eighth. We will do the Wonderful. eighth. Um, and so we'll have two sessions uh, this month. Well, well, three, technically three. Um, I, I, a new thing that I will be doing is a little thing called taking a break every month. Whoa. Wow. It's amazing. What the hell? What is that? It's That's insane. such a foreign concept. I don't understand what? what you're saying to me. Yeah. So the, the idea... Uh, Can you explain it, this? Yes, absolutely. Well, I, I'll, so this is how it's uh, it's going to work. Uh, so the, the last full week of the month, um, I will be taking off from all the D&D campaigns. This will allow the players to get, you know, do other things they may want to do. This allows for the DM to uh, not lose his fucking mind and make a shitty game. Uh, this allows for the viewers to catch up so they don't feel like they're losing, you know, losing track of time. And more than likely mm. during that week, I'll be doing um, like restreams of all the episodes. So people will do like a big, huge marathon watching party of the campaigns up to that point from that. The, what, what has happened that month. And uh, and yeah, so this this week uh, in our March's week will be the, between the 20th and the 26th will be our D&D break. So we'll have the 8th, the 15th, we'll be off the 22nd, and then we'll be back on the 29th. And that is... That just, I think, is just gonna make things a lot That's better. That's a great for idea, everyone. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I want to, I want to keep. I really want to like keep this as high quality as possible. I'm very excited for Phase Three and the stories you guys are gonna write, and I think it's just really important that I get that mental re um, refresh. Do I want to enable customize my origin then? Uh. In uh. Red? Customize origin. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's an optional feature. You said we're doing custom backstories, right? Background? Oh yeah, yeah, back, yeah. In the sense that you're, you don't, you don't start with a background. You could do that. You can also just not pick a background, and that'll be fine. Oh, can you? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, also, uh, it's asking me if we're going to be using Rick and Morty content. Yeah, oh, yeah. do we want yeah. Rick and Morty on? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah check. Right. Yeah, you can, you can, you can check it off. Uh, you can have it on, but you won't it's be able important to... for Brenji's artificial. You're, you're not yes. invited if you have it on, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, you, you could turn it on. You just can't add any of it to your character sheet, like any okay, of it. But... Like, can zero. I play okay. Rick? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rick yeah. Class. You know what? You could you can name yourself Rick. I got one. Rick, it Rick would be an artificer though. I, I genuinely I genuinely don't know what the Rick and Morty Rick, content is. I had is. an idea, but like the for my Tanuki, you know how like I can turn the stone as right. my race. Turn into like, a pig. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, waiting. Pickle. No, 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 yeah. Let him let him tell the joke. Let him tell the joke. Uh, yeah, no, you don't turn into a pickle. But I could turn into a stone pickle, and there's nothing you can do about it. I yes. think the only you know, person who can play a pickle is me because I was Pikel last campaign. Here's so I'm the, here's, ready to become yeah. a pickle. Well, you, I here, mean, you're just being a dead horse at this point. Step aside, let someone else take the mantle. Here, okay, here's, no, here. it's my territory. So here, here's the here's the fucked up part. Uh, just because specifically how I made the Tanukin uh, uh, Racklings. Yes, you can turn into a statue of a pickle. And it could be literally a uh, an opus to uh, Pikel. You started her <laughs> goblin pickle. Oh, edition. merging so the streams. There we go. Classic there it is. Rick and Morty thing is. to do, Brett. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh character has an allergy to pickles. I've just decided randomly, spontaneously. So oh, I don't okay. want to talk to your character ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's know why. Great. I just really hate your character. So, uh, all right, cool. Honestly, I, that's kind of a relief. I feel good that we're starting the eighth, so that way I can give you yes. the focus that I need to this campaign. Run and sad cat. Yes, let's go. That's that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did I did include that because that's a that's a cool ass emo. All right. So uh, any other questions before we wrap it up? Um, um. On our character sheets, are we doing milestone or XP? Milestone. Okay. Every time I want to do XP, I'm like that'd be pretty cool, and then I oh, realize, I gotta calculate it. Yeah, and then I realize <laughs> literally two minutes later, I'm just like that really. That goblin was 15 that when they really... explored the cave. That's like yeah, 30 XP. I'm like, I guess. I'm like that sucks. I mean, I, I, it's a cool concept, right? Because they're like, oh, you get to like accurately track well, how you guys cool are if you want to like keep accounting of every interaction you've had and been like, yeah. all right, three goblins, that's 10 XP each. So like we're on what track. Would be, what would be really hilarious is, is, is the fact that I'm moving you guys to a wealth level system and then kept you as experience for uh, for your characters. <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Just really just fucked it all up. That's mm -hmm. the real penny pinch is goddamn experience for each yeah. kill. Uh, yeah, what so. about encumbrance? Yes, you will uh, have that on. To an extent. 
You will have that on. Yes, I love so, encumbrance. So when you guys uh, build your characters in D&D Beyond, I will be importing them into Foundry because there's a neat little button that just imports everything in and it works and it's mm. really cool and I absolutely love it. So. Uh, oh, yeah. Brett, I need to talk to you one-on-one -on -one then about stuff because I've already done like my entire backstory and everything um, uh -huh. already in D&D Beyond. So with the custom backstory stuff, I might need to modify some stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just gonna ask you. That's probably better, best off stream though. I mean, I mean, the the, the, the simple thing I could say is just the backstory. Just, just, just text. Re well, just remove the. I think I think he's talking about the background. Um, yeah, just. Oh, turn I, right. I, I interwove my backstory and the background, so I yeah. might have to rework things a little bit just for. I mean, you could still place. have you could still have the backstory, just don't have the background stats or whatever bonuses. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. If Would that, you if, select the custom race one if you're? Oh, yep. custom lineage okay yeah so we're not doing custom lineage uh you'll be you'll be doing an ioverse race and we'll be making a race specific for uh for you no, oh okay no, yeah no custom lineage no 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 i'm looking at summer. <laughs> i'm summer's in chat i'm literally looking at summer who took full advantage of custom lineage and was like hi i'm now i murder i murder everything with bow, bows and arrows and everything <laughs> like that yeah i'm looking at you summer Scarred. <laughs> Nightmares. Nightmare. Yes. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Um, but yeah, well, son of a bitch. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Window sound. That was me. That was me, chat. That was me. Don't check your windows. That was me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I keep muting sounds and then they don't stay mute. Okay. Uh, any other questions? No. Uh. <laughs> no. All right, cool. I'm awesome. just enjoying the map. I'm just going to keep reading mm -hmm. all the names. I'm oh. currently uh, fantasy name generator ing myself. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> clever. Nice. Or now, why, or that wasn't enough. Why, uh, why couldn't you just pretend you made the name up all on your own? Why do you have well, to? Well, no, so I, normally, I normally take inspiration <laughs> from them. Like, uh, yeah. if I see a name and I'm like, I like the like first two letters oh, of that yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll take it away, or I like the the last three letters of that name. Then I'll take it away and make my own one. Absolutely, I this like one. it. Yeah. Brett, one. I have one last question. Please, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm loving this layout. So I'm just I'm I'm just I'm in heaven right now. Yeah, um, yeah. So the the map that we're looking at right now. Um, yes. How much of it is sort of known? I know you alluded that some little parts of it were pretty right. unknown. Um, but so, like, so pretty much the. We have... the... Oh, Sorry, go, go ahead. On. No, no. So uh, I was, uh, I was uh, just gonna say, uh, do we have knowledge of of specific areas, or can we contact you to try and incorporate our backstory to specific areas if they yeah. sound kind of cool-ish? Yeah. Maybe. Hell yeah, we can we can okay. go and do that. So the, the general idea I had with all these areas is, yeah, there's just random names and things that have been given here because those that have explored or gone around it have just been like, hey, I found this place, but no one's really like actively looked at it because. Lundy is a quiet village. There, there really isn't anyone right. that's like, I seek out adventure. Lundy has always just been a, a sleepy time. The Let's Shire. Drink. Yeah. Why leave? We're in paradise kind of thing. So these yeah. names are just from probably at, at this point, I'd say hundreds of years uh, from people who have said, I have found the Sun Glare Isle. And it's like, that's cool. <laughs> and then they go, all right, I'm going back to civilization. I'm bored. So it, it, it's that. But if you would like to incorporate your backstory, absolutely. Because, uh, uh, and I'll talk to Levo Doom and we'll, uh, we'll adjust the map accordingly. I like it. That sounds good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, anything else? Any other questions? Because I got some fan art. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, right. Fan yeah, art. We, we got, so, we oh, got a shit. couple. Got a little Anna. bit of fan art. I mean, a couple of memes here and there. But we got, we got, oh, it's gonna be hot. Are we still stuff. gonna show? Uh, oh yes, our... yes, absolutely. Sorry. Oh, my brain turned I mean, into mush. We don't have to. Forgot. I'm showing it, Alex. I'm showing. I just it. randomly remembered. I well, thank you for reminding me because I totally forgot. So uh, yeah, before we show the fan art, let's show what's being worked on. So I'm only showing uh, Strippins and Arixes, correct? Sure. Okay. Double checking. Double checking. Uh, uh, G Martin, am I showing uh, yours as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, show it. All right. Is this a work in progress? I have. Um, I'm down for that. 
All right, so I guess I'll start with you know I'm just gonna start with Gmer. It's, I think that's start <laughs> rip with that the best. bandaid off. Yeah, let's just do that right there. Establish the energy with the yeah, with. yeah. So guys, just don't steal, okay? Is you that Gaston? Like <laughs> the body? Wait, yeah, that does look like Gaston's that's, outfit. That's, I think it's, it's yeah. literally Gaston turned into a bunny. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's a, that's a, I've read that bunny from Redwall. So, yeah, Bunston. Yeah. Yeah. Bun Bunston. Absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> I was looking up pictures I mean, of he has Basil a pit fight up. hair from Redwall, yeah. and that was one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so do not steal. Do not steal. I'm looking at you, chat. Do not steal. All right. Uh, I will then show Sam's next. Making sure this is the latest one. I think it is. I've and picked a name as well. It's Tom, it's Tom Wait, Tom it's, it's Tom Tontu. Wait, Tom Tontu. 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 T O N T. I'm going to taunt you. T O N T U. Yeah, nice. I'm going to Look taunt is he a tank? Yeah, is it a taunt pun? Never mind, cancel the name. That's what I. Uh... He's got little bark armor. I like yeah, I like the bark armor. Yeah, I love Wait, his. How, I love his, how uh, tall is hair. he? He looks huge. Look at he's, this boy. He, it's just like, zoomed in out. They're, they're like, like two, to, two to three feet tall. He's just uh, he's, he's, a tw he's a 20 oh, foot tall grappling. Yeah, I thought he was a huge guy. Hold, hold, hold on. Seven let me, feet let, tall. Let me put the scale. <laughs> All right. There it is. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, my neighbor Totoro looking at us. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like three foot tall. He's just fluffy. Yeah. I just, Wait, I just, can he make him like 10 feet tall? Yeah. No, that's no. Three, that's, Wait, he does. It's, he belongs to a race. Between three and four feet. Tall. Yeah, yeah. Raccoons oh. are small. Raccoons are Are you trying are to get a mascot for your hot springs? The ten foot tall raccoon. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Dips, dips balls into hot spring. Yeah. <laughs> Making some tea. Mm. Literally oh. tea bagging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, all right. And then, Arix, are you ready for me to show yours? That off? was actually, this design is actually by Mariah, who uh, designed the race. Yeah, made the uh, Rackling race. I lucked out with that one. Yeah, that was that was awesome when you told me Mariah. So they draw my character. How do they do with other animals? <laughs> very, very Raccoons, good. Raccoons, great. Love yeah. them. Yeah. How do you do with rabbits? How, really? Oh, wait. They, she's great at Animals in general. Yeah, she. And she's, ironically, she's, I'm sure there's I, transferable I will skills. I'm serious. I mean, no, I mean, she's made. Um, she's just, yeah, we're man, we're, we're keeping Mariah busy because, uh, yeah, she there she is. She's in chat right there. I'm joking, but I'm not Mariah. joking. Po points at Mariah. Look at there. Hey, Mariah, thank you for your work. <laughs> Mariah makes terrific <laughs> art. I'll Ooh. send a DM. <laughs> Mariah also um, made my um, elephant. And whoops is hello. Oh, the looks of Oh shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Memorats. That, cool. that was that was that's awesome. Okay. I don't think anyone I don't think anyone's seen Arix this barbarian except Arix, so haven't Here, we? Didn't he say that? Like, yeah, we've ago, seen yeah. it. Oh, like her, like like the like the, the, it's new... the same concept art, right? Yeah, say it's the same concept art, but there's been spiced up. You ready? Ah. Boom. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Yeah. I love the color scheme. Yeah, the color scheme's yeah. really good. It is awesome. I, you know what? Actually, I was like trying to find the right color scheme and I was going back and forth with so many different I like ones. this. You said that. I like this color scheme. <laughs> I like the I like this a lot. So I'm also a mm -hmm. big fan, if you can't tell, of like blues and golds. So Yeah. It's... I mean it gives me like Greek like feeling because of the golds and also the the wings on the on the side of the head makes yeah. me think of Achilles. So much fun. So oh, much fun. All right, we got some fan art. Fan art time. I think I'm just gonna click and go here and I'll do screen share <clears throat> for yeah. you guys. Yep. Let me uh, share the screen. I think this is the, is this one? Boom. Yup. Sorry, uh, go ahead and mute. Oh, wait, no, you probably didn't hear anything in that tab. Awesome. And then if I move that around, yep, perfect. Okay. Uh, uh oh, you okay? Oh, I was just sitting up. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, we had we got we got such last minute fan art. I'm so proud of that. Okay, first of all, a uh, bird who will probably be working on all of your Discord reaction uh, made Nova White for us. Uh, big shout out, Nova. <laughs> Amazing. Oh man. Oh man. Absolutely. It's so quick. You're, you're insane, bud. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I, uh... <laughs> Gmart with his hummingbird problem. Uh, <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Like you could, like, pen to him or whatever and care, but... Off to the, like, fifth yeah, hummingbird. Yeah, you're like, right, they're attacking me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, so good. <laughs> god yo, bless the soul. Yo, I'm 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 gonna hype myself up. This is some great fan art. Oh, today. That's, awesome. oh so that's great. So cool. can, I would like to also point out Bird's artistic ability. We literally showed G Mark's yeah, that was Bunny like Boy. 30 seconds ago. And then we this was not here, and then Bird delivered like oh my god. Oh my god. that's amazing oh my god. that was so quick <laughs> wow. that was so quick no, what the hell but right? that's not okay <laughs> dog that, that's more than okay that's it's like stupid sexy flanders yes. but... yeah I mean Gaston is that I think you yeah. know who yeah, the now Gmon and then, I don't want to uh, set expectations because, like, that's not my character. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, my character's <laughs> not Gash looking like a rabbit. Absolutely, yeah. And then, Greg, and you don't get to decide that, though. And then Dyer just last minute did that's this. So Dyer there we go. <laughs> For Dyer's ability, I, you can tell that's intentional. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's so Like funny. the nose, I think it's a oh. nose. Dyer. I mean, Dyer, if you look you at my original art, that's the mask that's on his head. <laughs> That's not his face. That's I'm, so I'm, fucking oh, good. It's, <laughs> he's got oh. a little mask on his head. Yeah. Oh my god. It's I'm, perfect. I'm dying. It's, just it's like one of those challenges where it's like, draw what you saw in like five seconds. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it. It's right there. Like, I did it. It captures all of the film of It does. In two seconds. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Amazing. All right. Well, that was an amazing uh, session zero. It was absolutely delight. Uh, thank you for allowed me to host this for you all very excited for this campaign uh we've updated the date we will not be doing session one uh next week instead we'll be doing session one on the 8th at 7 p.m est and we'll uh yeah we'll go there and we'll have ourselves a uh a lot of fun so thank Hell you yeah. so much guys uh just message we decided me. on two weeks right yeah two weeks so okay. it's gonna yeah. be on the, it's gonna be on the 8th i'll Sorry, give you guys the updated date out. yeah it's all good i do that all the time Especially when okay. I'm like DMing, I'm like, what? Yeah, sure. That's, that's cool. Yeah, what did we say? Yeah, whatever I said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, message me if you need anything. Okay. All right. Thank that's you, Brad. Bye bye. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. That was fun. Uh, I'm glad we're giving the the wealth. I I I, I saw chat. I saw chat looking at their hands and I was, I was explaining the wealth system and chat was just like, what, 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 what? <laughs> but what is curios? Google it, my dude. Google's right there, points at it. Yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm really excited to give it a go and give it a try. Um, I know when it's first explained, it is a lot to take in. Um, but I do think it's going to to leave. I like it. No broke little tense. Exactly. Finally, no more deducting three copper for soup. It's also a great way to literally deduct uh, your living expenses instead of just deducting gold per day. It literally is just like, I'd like to live like a one gold dude. You're like, you could do that because that's what your wealth level says. Yeah, it just needs a little more explanation. It needs a little more. It needs a little time, a little explanation. Uh, it was confusing at first. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i bad at explaining things. I don't talk very good, if you couldn't tell already. I don't even know how the hell we're running a D&D &D show, to be honest, because uh, I, I me, no, me no talk very good. Words are hard. Material components for spell? Yeah, that's the cool thing, is like, if your wealth level is high enough, you could acquire materials for, for spells very good, very, very easily. So that way you could, you're like, I can afford these gemstones that I can cast like once a week. And I'm still working on the, on the system itself, but the idea, and I, I won't go too far into it because we've already went into it. The idea is it's kind of like a weekly spending limit, if that's the best way to describe it. So like every week you kind of get a little thing. So it's still stagnated. Yeah. 500 gold piece diamond. Exactly. But here's the thing. You still have to make those connections. So you can't, you don't just manifest a 500 gold piece diamond. If you're looking for spell, you have to find someone who sells the spell components. You have to find those connections. And that's what's really 
fun about the wealth stone it's a, it's, it's a narration it's role-playing opportunities oh it's so fucking good it's and that's why i'm i'm super excited also it gives charisma another use besides just being charisma you know what i mean um charisma is also going to get a bunch of uh cool stuff like uh charisma has a secret has a secret uh bonus where charisma based skills like persuasion things like that the dc is lowered um when you're making persuade like persuasions and diplomatic talks and things like that uh if you have a high enough quiz modifier uh the dc to succeed in things are actually lower because and i totally fucking forgot to say this um we're gonna experiment a lot with using different ability scores for different proficiencies so if you want to intimidate someone with your strength you can use your strength modifier. You don't have to use charisma for that. Uh, if you, I mean, just lot, lots of cool stuff. Lot, lots of cool things. Lots of variations. Lots of freedom. Because uh, I just want to tell a story. You want to tell a story, you know? Anyways, uh, I got to throw this out here before people start leaving. Uh, we got a fucking Patreon, boys. Patreon that I've been working uh, a lot. Would haggling have any impact on wealth? Absolutely. If you make a persuasion check to someone, and the way persuasion is going to work, you have to, you have to succeed multiple times. It's it's kind of like a there there is a game system be, behind persuasion. Um, instead of just being like I make a persuasion, I fail the DC, the guy hates me forever. Uh, you have a conversation with the person, you have a debate. So if you're haggling with a dude, it requires typically about three to five successful persuasion checks. Um, <clears throat> and the way that you talk and the way that you persuade works out very well. Um, and you will actually start gaining advantages or disadvantages depending on how well you succeed, how well you fail. So, and you don't know how well you're succeeding or failing. So if you are, for example, pushing a point home to an individual and you try and make a, make your case at that point and you roll, um, I'll probably be doing some secret rolls as well for that, uh, or rolling for people. And they'll role play. They'll they'll say things like, "Oh, that's an interesting point," or they might be like, "Oh, that's a, uh, yeah, okay." And then it's up to you to determine, like, okay, is he being sarcastic? Is he does not like that point? Because the more the more that you, if you try to, so that if you roll the persuasion check, trying to bring that point home again, you now suffer a secret disadvantage that roll because you're literally like, it's like saying red's a good color because it's hot. And then the other person's like, I don't like red. I think blue's good. And you're like, yeah, but red's like a really hot color. You're going to get a disadvantage of that role because you're literally, you're beating around the bush. You're not con contributing to the conversation. Meanwhile, if you go, red's hot. And the person's like, you know what? I like red too. And yeah, and that's interesting that you say it's hot. And you're like, it's hot because it goes fast. Well, now you might have an advantage on that persuasion role because you're, you're adding to the point. You're bringing it home. So yeah, it's just, just musings random musings you know so there's definitely systems that work with conversations but that also works for haggling is if you want to go ahead and, and uh, ha something has a wealth value of three and you want to drag it down all the way to a wealth value of two you might have the ability to do that if you persuade correctly so anyways all right that's 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 a lot of stuff that's that's enough for one day so yeah go to our patreon uh mp3s uh, of all the sessions uh tomorrow uh Tomorrow, we'll get a uh, MP3 of Session Zero um, that you guys will be able to listen to. And this week, uh, I'll be uploading the IO main theme, which also includes uh, the, 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 main, like, the, the main theme itself, which you guys are going to get a week earlier. You're going to get an early release of if you're a level 10 tier or above. And the raw WAV file, which is ready to go, ready to loop, um, for your BTTs, for your, for your virtual tabletops that you guys will get if you're the level 20 tier. You'll get the big the big raw file. It'll be good. For example, this song that's playing right now is a raw wave file of a theme that was composed by uh, Jordan Chin. And that will be released soon as well. No hiccups, no nothing. It's been playing this entire time in Foundry. So it's clean looped and things like that. And this asset is only available to the $20 tier. Uh, so make sure you go check that out. And then at some point at this month, uh, we'll be releasing um, the, the $10 tiers version of the theme on Spotify, YouTube, all the, all the sites. We're still trying to figure that out, but you guys are gonna be getting some access. You get early access to music that's written for IO. <laughs> if you are part of the Patreon, so consider supporting it. 
Uh, we also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash world of bio. Head on over there. What's really cool about the YouTube channel is we typically upload our sessions uh, two days after the uh, initial session. So I plan to upload session zero up on YouTube in two days, which means Thursday, 12 p.m. EST will be our session zero of Curious Curios. Uh, we'll, we do a premiere. It's been a lot of fun. I'll hop in typically uh, over when it's premiered and talk a little bit about the session, talk a little with chat, whoever's there. We get, we get a good turnout over on YouTube for those premieres. So yeah, hell yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow along so that way you can, if you want to watch this again, I'll be there. I'll be talking with chat and kind of sharing some shit. It's really good stuff. We have a lovely little Discord that you guys can join. I applied for partnership again. We're also looking at other options to potentially verify uh, the Discord so the World of IO channel can have its own URL, can actually be an official Discord for Discord. Um, but yeah, go ahead and join and follow and uh, do that there. Is that going to be on Thursday at 4 p.m. EST? Yep, session two this Thursday at 4 p.m. EST. Should be, a, should be a good session. And then session one of um, a Pipe Dreamers is next Thursday at 8 p.m. EST. So it's going to be a double back-to-back -back session next week. But this week, we got deadbeats there. Um, also, if you join the Discord, you get access to the schedule that we run every time. Every fucking time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I do a weekly schedule. Last week is... Uh, uh, I'm not going to give any more dates. I've already said what the dates were before, uh, just because I don't want people getting fucking confused when we're doing shit. Just uh, every week around Monday, uh, I usually post a weekly schedule. So follow Discord. Go to our weekly schedule section. That's what the schedule is. That's the most accurate way to do it. So Discord's the best way to go about it. Because yeah, we have a uh, terrible misinformation in in uh, in, our, in 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 the IO thing. We're like, uh, it's happening on this day. I'm like, how did you even get that? <laughs> how did you even get that day? How did you even get that time? So in in an effort to curb misinformation, just go to the weekly schedule. Check out the weekly schedule. You'll know week to week. I'll also have pin I also have pinned over uh, in the announcement section when all the campaigns start. I will be updating that for Curious Curios. Um, that it'll uh, you you'll be able to go ahead and and uh, <coughs> see when those dates are happening. We've got a pin message over there, and um, we're soon gonna be updating the schedule tab as well, so you guys know exactly when campaigns take place. I'll let you guys know exactly uh, when shit's happening. And, uh, and yeah, it should be a good time. Just, yeah, trust, trust in my communication. A random chat member is telling you that's the best way to do it. So, uh, that's it. I think that's everything. Oh yeah. Go buy some merch. Subscribe, support. Uh, thanks for stream. Oh yeah. This, uh, tomorrow at 10 PM EST, I'm going to be on the unexpectables for a one-off. And that's all I can say about that. If you would like to see me in the player seat, uh, go over to www.twitch.tv slash the unex un unexpectables. Make sure I'm actually typing that out correctly. I'll be there along with, I believe we can say who we're playing with. Uh, along, well, we're, we got the, we got the gang back together. So it's going to be me, Joe Fudge, Joe Cap. And uh, sci fry And Monty Glue is going to be DMing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So go over there. The gang is back together. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to I'm going to look forward to playing with everyone. And I like my character as well. I can't go into it, but I think you guys are going to be. I think I think you guys are going to enjoy it. <clears throat> I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So. I'll also, uh, like I said, go over the Discord. I'll make sure to post when I'm going uh, over there so you guys can watch and and hang out and all that fun shit. But yeah, thanks for everyone who came out. You guys are amazing. Your support for the IOverse is just, I just, I love it. I, I fucking love it. The, the turnout for these campaigns have been absolutely incredible and amazing. And I want to make sure that I am delivering a high level product every time. So thank you for hanging out. Uh, hey, Eric's just uh, just started stream. So let's go say hi to him. Get those. Uh, by the way, 
We got a new emote, Brett to Waddle. So Waddle all in. Where's my Waddlers? We're marching in, we're getting cozy. Get your blankies, wrap yourself up nice and tight. And let's waddle on over and, and give our, our good friend Eric some love. He's playing a game called Infernax, which I have no idea what that is. But I think he's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a good time. He's gonna be a good lad. Alright. Waddle on in, chat. I'll see you all tomorrow over in the Unexpectables. And this Thursday at 4 p.m. EST, session two of Deadbeats. By the way, we might have a new logo. Huh? We're gonna have a new logo this Thursday. What? Make sure you come on in. Yep, new Deadbeats logo. Tom Bag did it again, that son of a bitch. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.